And we're live. And we're live. Fantastic. And the mute button seems to work now. Okay, cool. Uh, I did a couple of things offline. No big deal, just uh, shifting some bottlenecks around slightly. Uh, finishing the belt over here. So we've got a bunch of blank observation frames, for example. Um, we've actually got some energy science packs. Fantastic. I don't think we got uh, material science yet. We are missing compressive strength data because we're waiting on concrete. Uh, just like we've had to with some other resources. The problem here is that we are waiting on a capsule. Oh. Okay, I stand corrected. Um, at this point, finally, we're waiting on the concrete itself, which I'm not sure... Uh, it seems that sand is the problem now. Which... Okay, this is really surprising. Um, we actually seem to have run out of stone. Considering that we've been having to get rid of stone more than anything else. This again. Okay, uh, can you just go back to the depot, please? Considering we've had to go out of our way to get rid of stone more than anything else, that is a little bit surprising, to say the least. Uh, concrete over the last... That's a pretty big spike of production of concrete. Uh, just over two and a half hours ago. And then that was the end of it. Okay, uh, I suppose we could always mine this stone that's right next to, well, it's right next to the concrete, actually. Um, we will eventually get the stone, just from ore mining, but that's going to take a little while. Also, now that I think of it, um... Okay, we don't need more than two of these blocks just yet. But we are getting more um, core fragments just from breaking down the core fragments from other planets. We get regular core fragments as well as what we get from Nalbus. So eventually, I hope, we're going to need more than this to process them. Um, how much? 7.9k stone. Almost enough for a train load. So we still have... This could use some speed modules. Where am I? Let's hop in the speedy spider for this one. And... Uh, we'll make an actual stone mine up here, I think. can't remember where I parked the construction spiders. There they are. We've... I was going to say we've almost finished unloading all of this stuff, but that's not quite true. There's a lot of chests full of stuff still. And I guess we should probably look for some more stone mines. Uh, this old one is not yet empty, but it is... It doesn't use any speed modules. It's a lot slower than you might otherwise get. don't really feel like going over there to change that, since there's only a million left. This one's a little bit awkward. Oh. Using bots for that, huh? And I switched it off. Yeah, we could always 
make a proper mine there, it would be a pain. I'm not really seeing anywhere else. I know I've got a whole lot of stone on one of these other planets that, um, that I was thinking of throwing back at Nalvis. Just for a quick fix. I think it was the Cryonite planet. Uh, over at Hagen? How much stone do we have? That's not... That's only 3.8k. That's definitely not our target. Was it... Hazer? Uh, I don't think so. I remember one of these planets having chests upon chests full of stone. That's only 4.8k. Although we could probably stand to send the, erid uh, the erudite back. Um, yeah, I actually don't know. Apparently I do not have any productivity modules on me. Probably because I turned off my logistic bots. Um, and I meant to say speed modules. Let's remove all the ones that have nothing left. Oop, that one just went green. Oh, that's the signal. Derp. No mineable resources. And we're not going to need these. That one will need. And let's see. Resupply commencing. Spiders. Uh, oh, they're already up there. It's running a bit slow. Let's put on the old performance mode. And squeeze out a few more frames. Uh, we needed to make a ludicrous number of uh, rocket control units to support all of the uh, uh, space capsules that we're making. I think in a future design I would probably not use belts to supply the space capsules. And if we're going to bother to have robots deliver those, we may as well have the robots deliver the uh, uh, cargo rocket sections, although putting those on a belt is much less of a problem since they're much more high volume. But considering each tile here has room for cargo rockets for four rocket launchers, um, the throughput isn't a problem, it's just that there's too much storage to fill uh, for the space capsules. So yeah, probably bots would be better for that. Now, where was I going? Let's fix this stone mine a bit. And where is this belt going? That could definitely be improved. Put some actual rail here. Okay.
What are our construction? Oh, and I made another uh, green circuit build over here because we were struggling to keep up with that. Because uh, rocket control units need a copious amount of blue circuits as well. We also had to uh, make some more oil production to keep up with sulfuric acid, to keep up with batteries, to keep up with rocket control units, to keep up with space capsules, or try to keep up, rather. Um, so yeah, things are going to be a bit slower for a little while. But the overall rate of production that we need for the space capsules is not that high. So it should be fine. Meanwhile, I am considering... Oh, there goes some stone. Hey, Morbel. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's add an icon for this one, too. Right about there. And then... I did catch another series of... It, it, it keeps happening all at the same time, uh, it seems like. It's never the iron and glass, from what I've seen in a long time. It's only the copper plate and stone brick. I keep seeing that bug happen where there's a little bit of copper in a train that's coming to pick up stone brick. I've looked over this circuit over and over again and compared it to this one and found absolutely no difference. Uh, I haven't been able to figure out why it does that like less than 1% of the time. I might end up designing a different loader system, uh, one that's more reliable, but unless I'm going to make it very slow, I don't really see what else I could do. Let's put a radar over here, and... That last 300k. I'll get consumed relatively quickly. Um, and we were going to do a stone mine over here as well. So this one might be a little bit awkward. We'll see. Um, I made a new blueprint. For mining that's a little bit more spaced out, like so. Is this problem with load system? Maybe it's weird behavior from LTN. I don't think it is. The trouble is I can never actually catch it in the act to see what is happening, um, but considering what happens every time is I find, like, one or two stacks of copper plate in the train that's come here to pick up stone. I can only assume that it's from having a couple of inserters sticking out at the end after the train has left, which this system is designed to prevent. Um... And then... If not for a bit of this circuitry here, where we get rid of everything that's zero or less, um, and here we're multiplying what's actually in the train by negative one. Oh, hello. Um, I think if the train arrives at the station with some resource in it, it has a signal of what the train already had plus what it's asking for, which is not very helpful. Um, uh, that signal, though, I'm not sure if it actually 
yeah, we multiply what's actually in the train by negative one, so that would get cancelled out. Anyway, it's been working ever since I made the rounds and just fixed up those stations. I'm sure I'll have to fix it again in like 60 hours. And until I come up with something totally different... Um, for a way to quickly load but then be precise at the very end. Uh, I don't know... I don't know what can be done, to be honest. So let's add a train station right about here. Logistic train stop. Chain signal go this way. Regular signal where we're allowed to park. And... That'll do. And then we'll do a pickup station right side. What's our rate of stone here? Oh, hello, bots. That's a bit unfortunate. 63 per second, more than I thought. Uh, okay. I guess we should bother to merge and split them then. I'll just get this tree out of the way. There we go. That goes there. This goes here. And then... I feel like it's going to be neater if I just do it like this. And this one... Goes over here, up this way, and then. Can the fast inserters keep up with 60 per second? I think they can. Alright, that should be all it takes. And don't forget... Oh, that's already done. Cool. Why is there only two stone... Oh, there's some coal that got in here somehow. Let's just make sure that doesn't happen again for a minute. All right. Spooter, come here, please. And let's have a look at our concrete. We'll decide if we're going to send it up early um, before the before the rocket is full. We've got half a rocket. That's not too bad. I wonder how fast we're going to consume concrete in this place. I don't even remember which science needs the concrete. Uh, but let's do a rate calculation over all this. And that might take just a moment. Concrete... 3.12 per second. Uh, I think I'm okay with sending this rocket up a little bit early. That's that's probably fine. And now's probably as good a time as any to ride it back to orbit. There might be a thing or two I want to do there. 
Did I get in? Yeah. And away we go. Wait, I did aim at it now for saw, but concrete, right? Yes. Yes, I did. Fantastic. There's literally just one belt of concrete that we actually... Oh, we did automatically send some concrete up here already. Or did we? Don't tell me this thing went through all of that concrete. Uh, where do we consume it? Compressive strength data. Products finished 32 over here. 36 over here. Maybe I sent a smaller rocket earlier or something. Um, but yeah, that should be material science sorted out. Uh, we're not going to have bioscience for a little while. We need to go get the Vitamalange. And what are you missing here? UV observation. Infrared. UV. Products finished. Two. We're missing cold thermofluid. Uh, is cold thermofluid connected to everything? 6.7k. I think it probably is. Yes. Um, so we just need to wait for the fluid to catch up for that one, basically. Any finished products over here? Yes. UV observation data. It is a percentage-based thing, so it's possible we never got any. Does it... What's this recipe need? One of each? Products finished one. There it is. And we got ourselves a single astronomic catalogue, which I think means... Yeah. So this is working. It's just very, very, very slow right now because we haven't saturated the system with uh, cold thermofluid. And it's getting hogged by uh, visible observation frames. So that's going to saturate before we get a decent rate over here. Um, I did add quite a lot more uh, thermal reactors and hypercoolers for those uh, cold fluids. Um, I was going to say we're probably bottlenecking on heavy oil because we were missing some coal up here for a while. But that is absolutely not the case. Um, we're going to need... Uh, we're going to need to pick up that copper a bit quicker. And I suppose I could put speed modules in this... Oh, I already have. I need some space belts as well. Spiders. Come and do your thing, please. And in the meantime, if this is to go at full speed, that's 68 thermofluid per second. Uh, how much would this consume at full speed? Once the whole thing's saturated, we're not going to need it as fast, I, I think. Uh, 126. So, yeah, if we double this, that's actually a pretty big deal. Uh, the piping is obviously going to be a bit of a nuisance. to say the least. But nothing we can't work around. 
Alright, uh, do the Spooders have a spare giant assembly machine? I don't think they do. We've probably got one lying around. Or not. We don't. I, might, I think I remember having one just laid out, not doing anything before, but I probably picked that up. What we can do instead of scrounging around for that is order some more space manufactories. Uh, you know what? Let's just get a lot of them so that the next time we're looking for them, we just have them. That should be pretty good. Um, we don't have any fast inserters. Really? I could have sworn I abandoned a bunch of them. Yeah, we do. Wait, is this split? It's the same robo network. I think the red just means that they're not on the way yet. There's 4,000 in storage. Okay. We've got 50 logistic bots, and apparently they're all... Oh. They're all moving the cargo rocket sections. Hmm. I really don't want to design a belt system to deal with the cargo rocket sections and space capsules. Although they could all fit on this side pretty easily. Um, in fact, the more I look at it, the more sense it makes. I don't really want to make, like, the old... Like, we've got this thing in place to absorb all of those, but um, I don't really want to make the... the old sushi base something we rely on until the end of time. But, yeah, there's no bots available to transport... Oh, I stand corrected. On the way, eight. Alright, we only need one of these right this second, so... Also, we should get rid of that little request right there. Um, I think I'll go visit that directly. Might be a bit quicker. Also, if I added some more roboports on the sides here between these, it might make this thing a whole lot faster as well. And I've got some of these on me. Well, yes, sure. Oh, and we already got three space manufacturers. Nice. All right. What was that? Oh, it's just scaffolding. And what was that flashy thing? No power for the display? It doesn't really matter. I can fix it later. Uh, I went past my destination. Alright, let's put this here. And one of the spiders did have a space manufactory. Whoops. Oh well, live and learn. Now the question is just how am I going to pipe spaghetti these uh, uh, fluids? I'm sure the spiders have some of this on them. And heavy.
heavy oil. I'll just continue this through here. I might have to change, get rid of this storage tank and just have a pipe. I would rather have both. Can I do both? Not really. I could put a pump... No. I want to have a storage tank and then a pump. And then... I suppose I could add one... Here. I don't know what that underground is doing there. So then we just put that there. And then... Connect like so. And that's just making sure we'll never overfill the ethermo fluid. But we'll have a lot in reserve just in case. Alright. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Let's do uh, a fiber. Wait, what? Fiber pipe. And heavy oil needs to go up here. And that should be that. Oh, and the minor detail of needing the belt to come in as well. Also, the sulfur. Uh, this layout is suddenly a bit inconvenient. It would probably be better if I moved it over a bit. Right in the middle. Do we fit here? Fifteen minus two. Let's grab a niner. And four. Oops. There we go. Doesn't even have speed modules in it. Think it's going to keep up. Uh, it is not going to keep up. It is easily going to keep up. That's pretty good. Alright, next is belt. And I should have realized this sooner. Add a 3B down here. And then we just need a underground space belt. That'll do. If we had to do any more of these, I feel like it would get super messy. Um, but I think this is going to be enough. Uh, the inserters are too slow. Fantastic. It is just barely stopping occasionally. I'm okay with that. I wonder if this would work better. Iron and copper. That actually seems to keep it going. Oh, wait. What's the rate of iron and copper here? 13 and 27. The copper on the belt is too slow. Oh, well. Is half a belt of copper enough? Just a little bit, not quite. Um... But I think, all things considered, uh, this is probably 
All of these machines are active now, so I think it's probably already good enough. Unless we end up deciding that we need more of these. But I'm hoping we don't. Considering there's a uh, 64k thermofluid in this system now, I think we're going to be okay. I'm much more concerned about cold thermofluid and to a lesser extent uh, cool and to a lesser extent cold demo fluid. Um, I'm guessing we're still mostly not doing UV because we're barely getting any cold down here. Yeah, it's kind of moved down to doing the infrared because this one's satisfied. Well, in any case, it's functional. Uh, it remains to be seen if we run this for a while. Wait, is this a lot slower than the less efficient version? I think we did the math on this before. Um, uh, let's see, 499... 500 becomes 499 and it takes 200 seconds versus 10 seconds for 50. Does that mean it's twice as slow? Uh, let's see. 5 per second versus... Um, well, hang on. 50 per 10 seconds is 5 per second. 500 over 200 is 2.5. It's, yeah, it's twice as slow. Considering we're just gaining more and more of this, um, maybe I should just run this thing further out to the left and maybe not have as many hypercoolers. Thermofluid's doing fine. Net rate of cold thermofluid is negative 600, so yeah, we've got way too many hypercoolers. Um, for the number of thermal radiators we have. Of course, that's all taking in, uh, that's all failing to take into consideration the way cold becomes cool. And I think cool becomes 25 degrees when it's, uh, this one goes from cold to 25. So, I think we should just keep throwing more capacity at it, honestly. At least for now. Why am I trying to line this up? There we go. Uh, so what do we need here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 12. Let's order some of those. Where do I find them? 12 of these, please. And 6... Well, we don't need any more hypercoolers yet, do we? Uh, it's prioritizing the space manufactories. We've got a few to spare. Let's... Oh, there's one of these spare as well. Um, what's the number here? 29... And... One fewer of these at the moment. That didn't work. Uh, I think I...
forgot I need to swap this around if I'm going to pulse in a negative. There we go. And I'll change this back so I don't forget. Oh, lol, just when I typed it, you checked it? Yeah. Um, these are surprisingly slow. Well, the default speed is 200. What's the crafting speed of these? 1.8, so default 1.0. Are these faster or anything? I need beryllium plate. I don't have a throughput of those. Okay. Anyway, um, that is going to eventually give us a bunch of science. Uh, let's go get ourselves some more scaffolding. And we'll build some kind of lab setup over here. Getting in the spider so I can autopilot back to this stuff. And while we're waiting for that, let's check on Malvis. Um... Yeah, concrete itself is actually a problem now. Because of stone, ultimately. Feels weird to have gone through all the stone. Feels very weird. Maybe I should change the default thing that we use to get rid of resources here to coal, it looks like. That feels very strange indeed. There's a bunch of stone in here as well. Maybe in future I really should just keep making infinite more storage. I could do a storage block that uses bots that would be way more dense in terms of storage space. Uh, did I actually... Did I actually get... Oh no, here they are. I was going to say, did I get rid of the old storage blocks that we had? So there's shockingly no uranium. That's a lot of copper plate. Like... A lot of copper plate. Should it be a higher priority to pick up from storage than furnaces? I think it probably should, right? No, I guess not. That's a lot of iron plate. Beautiful. That's a lot of steel. Love it. That's a ton of coal. That is zero stone. Lots of iron ore. No copper ore. Wait, I thought I saw copper ore that we were destroying over here. Nope, I'm wrong. That's fine. Alright, so iron and coal indeed don't have any room in storage anymore. Um... This was set to use stone because stone was the one thing we thought we could never run out of to launch the delivery cannons at this to destroy it. And now this whole thing is getting jammed because we don't have stone. Hmm. Feels weird. There is actually Quillian. As weird as this sounds, we could actually go and get st threat a hundred percent. Yikes. Uh, we could actually go and get infinite stone from here. But no, I think uh, the Vita Melange planet is one of our highest priorities, and I think I also wanted to go to Lothar. There's hardly any biters, there's a mysterious structure, um, radius is relatively small, to the point where we could probably get the spiders to remove all the biters, there's no biter medias, so we won't have to build walls or anything, um, 
And then we can get twice as many, well, really more than twice as many um, uranium core fragments because this planet is much bigger. Another win for the Never Destroy Resources gang. I mean, if I had, if I had just kept adding storage as much as I destroyed items over here this entire time, uh, literally it would probably like cover the entire planet, um, the amount of storage space that I would need for all of that to keep the coal mining going. And you can't automate that. Still taking an extremely long time to empty all of this stuff. I wonder if we're not getting the trains. No, the trash trains are doing their thing. We do have a bunch of sand over here. 48,000, that's actually not that much. 52,000 stone. Uh, okay, 52,000 stone is like six train loads. So why don't we arrange to put that back into the rail network? It's going to create a lot of bot activity to do that, but it's going to be kind of a one-off. Also, really happy to see Vulcanite blocks just completely saturated everywhere now. Very nice indeed. We're actually waiting on Iridium in order to make Iridium ingots. Uh, and of course there's no shortage of vulcanite blocks over here. Although I could probably stop limiting these to just... Oh. It is two train loads. 24k. I'm surprised some of these are... Isn't this a balanced unloader? It's combinatorless. And... Okay, I actually have no idea what this circuit is. Set stack size, enable, disable, control signal, vulcanite block. But there's no combinator. Uh huh. I think that was an oversight. It's not particularly important. Oh well. Uh, let's grab ourselves some scaffolding. Should have gotten rid of some of the stuff so I had more room in my inventory. Should I have the spiders carrying some scaffolding? They've got a little bit of room still. Just like two stacks each would make a thousand. Don't know if we even have a thousand left. We're going to have to send another rocket. Uh, what's the color? 16. Alright, so you're now requesting all the scaffolding. And we might just have to send some up. Nervous Orbit General. Wait, what? No. Where's Nervous Orbit? Nervous Orbit General. General, General, General. Here it is. Let's just double check that's the right one. Nervous Orbit General. Off you go.
a Ohio Soro. Good to see you again. A welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Cannot it be that problems with copper delivery is because of storage? Or storage have protection for situation when inserters have items in them after finish loading? Uh, the only time we need to worry about the inserters sticking out when they're finished loading is if we're going to load... Uh, if, if we're going to have a dual purpose station like this one. Uh, I don't know if that answers your question. I'm not entirely sure what you mean. All right. Uh, so you got some scaffolding. Oh, right. I'll take some myself. And... I think we're going to need a lot more than that. Yeah. I might just... Temporarily set these to... Allow infinite scaffolding. And I'll put them in the spiders myself. At some point, I'm going to notice the spiders are full of scaffolding and have to do something about it, but that's okay. Down we go. And I believe this, yep, is where our first science comes from. Uh, we're going to need room for... I could set it up the way I did before, where we launch multiple types of science in one rocket, but... Frankly, it's going to be way, way, way easier if we just do six different rockets. Um, just to get things started, we could do all six types of science. Oh, and that's why this one has stopped now. That's fine. We'll tidy up and get rid of all this in a while. So I'm going to need some more... Uh, cargo landing pads. Do we have those in the logistic network? We do not. I should have sent some up. Um, actually, what does it take to make them? Steel, concrete, steel, and radar. Okay, we can manage that. But I'll have to go back and do it. Also, I may have forgotten to collect these items to be placed as well. Um, but yeah, here, 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 and here we need to collect science packs from. Uh, and we need to have five cargo landing pads bringing in the science automatically. And come to think of it, it would be better if it was closer to this robo network that's already up here. So I should have carried some more scaffolding. Uh, let's see. So if we put a robo port here-ish. Bring the spooters over. And we'll put some cargo rocket pads in a line here. That's going to be a bit much, I think. Oh wait, this is part of this giant 
network, isn't it? That'll eventually get placed if I do it that way. It's going to take forever, though. Also, we should probably actually give some power to our poor little robopod here. Um, okay. We're not going to need the insane throughput of like what we did here with the main buses. Just an inserter or two outputting from each cargo landing pad should be sufficient. So we can put them... Oh. Is there not? Oh, I see. Um, because of the bots queuing up, placing the stuff in arbitrary orders getting some weird behavior. So let's start this here. Four and five. Whoa. Okay. And I'll just copy paste these settings real quick. And five. So we'll make this one red sides. Um, where should the labs go? We need some filter inserters for output. Should we do half belts for some of these? Wait. Why is it five? I thought it should be six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there we go. Nice even number. And this one goes here. Right. So should we do shared belts? We're not going to be making science that fast overall with this system, right? We can always change it. But I think we'll just... Can I get some space built? Over here. This is going to be red sites, green sites, uh, military, chemical. Purple. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, I, I did a dub. There we go. Red, green, military, blue, purple, and yellow. And that's three belts on this side. Um, how should we go about how this is going to look? It's kind of hard to see where this tile actually goes. Uh, I guess we could just bring them together like this. if we're going to have the labs like so, then we're going to have to do it like this. OK. 
Can I get some space belt shortcuts? I should put all those space stuff here together. Or at least pipes and belts. That's a good fit. Alright, so that goes there. And on this side, I'll do it like this. Oops. Copy that a few times. This is probably way more than enough already. And some substations would be good too. Uh, we can use the undergrounds that are already here to make that fit pretty well. And then... Substations can't reach across these. Sad. That'll do. Right then. We've already got a path for... Oh, we're going to need one, two, three, four, five sciences coming in on the other side. So that's three belts as well. So I guess we'll do it like this. Flip the belts around, though. I'll just add the inserters first. And figure out the rest after the fact. Actually, that should probably just look like this. Seems good. And belt goes burr. Would have been quicker. And obviously we're going to need some splits at the end of all that as well. Alright, first things first, let's get our regular old uh, rocket science over here. I haven't really left myself any room to do this uh, elegantly. Uh, in fact, let's just do that so I can use the keyboard shortcuts. We've got the output for the junk data cards. We need a filter output for finished product. And then I'm glad I arranged to bring some extra belt up. That's going to be on one side, uh, and this one will be on the other side. I kind of want to leave even more room to expand this in case. So. What are we doing? Energy Science Pack 1. Fantastic. And let's do like a, a minimum amount of scaffolding. Get this done. Go steal some from the spiders. Let's 
scaffolding. No, don't put them over there. It's probably fine. Whoops. Right, so then... This goes here. This goes here. And we'll do whatever we do with that. Let's do a little float. Get the spiders to place the belt. Now, I should probably go make some uh, cargo landing pad. That looks cool. S Skittling spiders. Skittling? Skittering. Something like that. I guess I may as well drop off these accumulators, not that we really need them. Alright. Up we go. And... Let's see that again. Spiders over this way. That looks neat. And over this way, please. And there comes our science. Let the bots catch up. Alright, what was I doing? Making five, no, six cargo landing pads. Where's the cannon? Not here. The delivery cannon chest, that is. Take those. And steel. Uh, I need to make more room. One. Two. Three. Close. Four. And five. Now we just need some radars, which I remember was a bit of a pain last time. Need some more iron. There we go. We should be able to make the last one now. No. Oh, my inventory is too full to continue the crafting. Uh, okay. I'll put this back for now. Back to our spooters. Up we go. And 
This should be pretty straightforward. Put it on the same side. Nice and easy. Now we just need to bring these two together. And belt it up past here. Probably take advantage of that bit of scaffolding that's already there. So add this here. Can't place it where there's only planned scaffolding. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to just. Well, let's add our filter inserter over here. And then we'll put the other one on the other side of the belt if we can. Space spaghetti? Yes, indeed. I don't know, which is going to be the easiest way? Which side does this go on? The right side. So this would be left side, this would be right side. Uh, if we do it like this... Why don't we just merge the belts like a normal person? Make sure there can be no mistake. That tiny bit of scaffolding missing is slightly bothering me, I have to admit. Right, so this will be uh, Material Science Pack 1. Huh? Oh, there it is. And this will be Bio... Kind of like the Bio and Material being together because they've got a symbiosis, what with the Material making the... Uh, Bio sludge. Oh, that's not where that's going to go. Those are already merging. Okay. So I'll put this here. Spooters, do you think? Let's get all the scaffolding placed so we can plan all the uh, belt. And this will go here. And then we need our spiders over this way. Should just about do it. Let's 
to place the rest of this belt. And as for planning this part, pretty straightforward. I'll make these line up the same. All good. And we haven't produced either of these just yet. We're missing catalogs. And nothing else. It's just sheer volume. Wait, why is this not outputting? Oh, did something break? We've got a lot of scrap. So this has compressive strength data that it wants to output. The scrap belt is full. I think it's because the iridium plate here. Huh, I might have to redesign that. So the scrap would normally go all the way back to scrap processing up here. That's for broken data cards. Wait. Yeah, no, broken data cards come down here, so that puts more scrap up here. Two kinds of scrap go up this way, and then we deal with those. We do have a steady flow of that getting dealt with right now. Heavy oil is looking very full. Um, I did add a system to make sure we never completely fill the heavy oil so that there's room for this fluid output here. Hey, fat boy, not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Found a new bottleneck if you want a spoiler for the base. Uh, we'll see. We shall see. I mean, I know the scrap processing is probably going to be a bottleneck if we ever get everything going full speed here. That's it? Okay. Yeah, it's kind of shocking how much uh, scrap is made by this. Um, but yeah, I thought I... I thought I set this up pretty well so that it would prioritize consumption of the iridium plate that comes from here as opposed to here. Um, but I think the problem is because this isn't in motion this isn't in motion, and therefore this isn't in motion, and therefore all of this isn't in motion. Um, so what we need to do is really make sure that... Um, well, where am I? I'm, I'm considering putting chests so that there's more capacity, but what we could do... Read belt contents hold. Uh, iridium plate equals zero. Copy this all the way up here. Can I reach that across? Yep. and really make sure that there's room for that little trickle of iridium plate that comes through here. As opposed to just having priority input on this splitter. Uh, what is this chest doing? What did I come back here for, by the way? May as well get the one more cargo landing pad, I suppose. 
Let's get a concrete. I need a thousand. I don't have room. Is that enough? Yes, good. Alright, anything else I came back up here for? I could pick up some of the labs. Not that we're going to need them just yet, but I don't see why not. Rip that progress if I pick that one up. I guess we're going to be doing that anyway. It's all infinite anyway. It's fine. How many am I carrying? Uh, it's production, isn't it? Five, six. They take up a stack each. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, back we go. Blank data cards backed up into Astro, couldn't eject, and it was a solid belt. Had to prioritize dumping on scrap planes. Then that backed up, saved and went to bed, future me problem to fix. Right. Uh, was that for your own base, or you were working on this one as well? Oh, I needed to pick up more scrap as well, didn't I? Not scrap, um, scaffolding. Also, can I get the RoboPort to reach all of these? Yes, good. Fantastic. That could be a big pull. My space base is bad? Oh no. Uh, we're gonna need some power over here. That's all good. Alright, so we're gonna go... Novice Orbit, Red Sites. Novice Orbit, Green. Is it redundant having the name Novice Orbit in here? Because I think you have to select Nalvis Orbit first anyway, right? Unless you select... Um, yeah, you select the vicinity or... Uh, the surface or any landing pad with name. So these don't actually have to say Nalvis Orbit XYZ. But I think for now, we'll just stick to the convention in case I decide in future. Military science. Blue science. Uh, purple. And a yellow. And it's high time I set this to bring some of those science packs up. Unfortunately, I've got it stored so that we bring in many different sciences at the same time. It's going to take an awfully long time to load a complete rocket with this. Uh, I could just load, I could just do a normal multi-load, like this, this is going to be a one-off, it's not going to be what we do consistently, I'm going to automate it in the rail system, so I th think it's okay to just do it like this, and then we'll, um, we'll, t we'll transfer the sciences across these, uh, cargo landing pads. So I'll put it in blue sites. Now this orbit. 
blue signs. And I guess I'll wait for that to load for now. Do we still have concrete here? We do. Alright, that should last a little while at least. And that just leaves one more belt to follow these ones. Uh, I'll steal some scaffolding from the spiders. And do this part myself. Oops. Alright. Oh, what? Hold on, I'm confused. One, two, three, four, five sciences. Okay, so there's just this one remaining. That's good. Cannot put... I should have taken some belt as well. It's fine. Guess I'll let the bots catch up. That's the end of that. So this is Astronomic Science Pack 1. And we're going to need to run some belt. All the way up here. That's a long belt. I'll copy this thing again. Actually, we don't need to. Although I feel like being consistent. Should do it. How's our loading going so far? We're actually already up to green signs. So we're a bit more than a sixth of the way there. Fantastic. Getting a lot more energy signs than I expected to already be getting. It's actually going full speed. Nice. I guess it was just material science that's jammed for the moment. Uh, speaking of which, I'll go and hopefully unjam that right now. Uh, my hope is that this bit of belt circuitry is going to be all it takes. Now if I take some from here, the scrap will be able to move through. My inventory is full. I only took 120, but it seems to be getting the job done. The only question is, will there be enough uh, compressive strength data 
that makes its way over he here. We've got one, two, three, four, five of these machines active. It's looking good. So it's not 25% of the time this makes Iridium Plate again. Um, as long as we prioritize emptying this belt here over letting more Iridium in to go to this one. It's 20 per recipe. How many compressive strength data does it take for one of these recipes? I think I calculated this before. Uh, one catalog, one insight, plus the significant data, which is 36. So 38. And it's one to one for... It's one to two for material catalog to material insight. Um, that's actually better. So 36 over 2 is 18, uh, 19 and a half material catalogs. And a material catalog needs one compressive strength data. It's also the scrap coming from over here as well. That also, I think all of these do 25% iridium plate. Okay. Probably what we should be doing with this in the first place is have that belt go all the way back here somewhere and feed back into the whole thing. But I th think... Um, I think this will consume enough Iridium Plate that the whole thing will stay in motion. We're gonna find out. Also, this isn't um, lane balanced, which is probably bad. Probably. I think we do have room to lane balance it. Uh, maybe not. Well, it should be about... I was going to say it should be about equal. No, this is lane balanced. So yeah, that should stay. This should get consumed from both sides effectively. Except that's definitely not what's happening. I think this is about to get jammed again, at least on one side of the belt. Yep, there it is. And some of these use a specific... All four different things use a specific side of this belt. So that's a problem. Also, it's not even... This thing's pretty full, actually. So it's not even... that it's a problem that it's only using half the belt, I think. Um, so we have our lane balancer before this thing consumes. Which means from here and here it should be consuming from both sides. It's just consuming too slowly. Net rate of Iridium Plate is negative, but it's producing 1.5 per second. And this thing consumes 6.6 .6 per second. So you would definitely think that's enough. We're struggling on cold thermofluid getting here, but... I want to leave it running for a while and see what happens. The science machine doesn't have enough coolant, correct. 
Mess, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's place the rest of this belt. I wonder if getting to do that will have the bots jump out. I don't think so. Let's try it here. Oh, it does work. That opens up some possibilities. As long as you don't mind waiting for the bots to catch up at the end, you can get them to build everything as they go. Seems we've finished building this. Not that it's relevant just yet. And I should probably go get the rest of those thermals. If we've got them. 12. Yes, we do. Alright. Should probably stop research on zone discovery for now. We're also not really getting a whole lot of material science packs just yet. What I really want is... Well, they've reached the end of the belt, not that we're consuming yet. Oh, that's right, we need the science first. Okay. Um, but what I really want to research first is space rail. Looking forward to that one. Don't tell me the substation doesn't reach across there. That makes me sad. All right. Scooters. Go and resupply, I suppose. And then I'll go get uh, the coolant thingies. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. Probably should have made that a green chest the whole time. And it's over here, isn't it? There we go. So hopefully coolant won't be quite as much trouble in the near future. Both of these are still really, really empty. 5.4k, and only 219. Well, we know where our bottleneck is. It's not actually this, I don't think. It's 104,000 25 degree thermofluid. We actually still need way, way, way more thermal radiators. Actually, I wonder if, uh, Wide Area Beacon is still a way away. Uh, Energy Science Pack 2. What does it take to make this? Broad Energy Catalog. 
All right, so I don't really know. Broad energy catalog. With that large pipeline, it will take a bunch of time to fill the system. Yeah, of course. Definitely. I don't know if we need any more hypercoolers. I think we're probably... Well, no, we definitely don't. Um, we're super duper bottlenecked on the thermal radiators. And I don't really want to reduce the efficiency of them. We could always just add some more. Um, probably start doing it like this and have that pipe go around there. So I could add like maybe 50 of these. Radiator. I'm guessing... Oh, this is just crafting speed too. Wait, can I make those yet? I need beryllium. That's right. Okay. Let's make another 50 of these. There we go. A whiz bank. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is this mod or vanilla? It is indeed space exploration. Oh, it's working. Great. I'm really glad I didn't have to come back to this. And for some reason, it's all one side. I guess that's fine. Well, that means we've been making material science packs at speed for a bit. Nice. Really looking forward to this. How's our loading of our one shot of science coming? So let's see, 11160. I think that one launch of science is going to last us for quite a while, but after this I would really like to go back to Nalvis and finish uh, rail blocks for the sciences. This one's finished except we don't have the uh, prerequisites of yellow belt and yellow inserters. The rest of these should be fairly straightforward. We need to do grenades and stone wall. Oh, I always forget this. Piercing rounds, grenade, and stone wall. Whenever I realize I need to do military science, there's definitely none of this in the rail block just yet, because why would there be? Uh, Multi-cylinder engines, advanced circuit, and sulfur are already in the rail block, so that one's going to be pretty straightforward. Rail is not, electric furnaces are not, and productivity ones are not. That's a big pain. And this one is straightforward. So I think I'll do blue and yellow first. And then we'll work on the ones that need prerequisites. Check. 57x, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. And welcome to the stream today. Wait, what? What happened to my... Oh, there we go. Given the mod author of SE now works for Woob, it might very well have some influence. He's about Factorio expansion. Yeah, definitely. Oh, if SE is going to be adjusted a bit? I don't know. If I were them, I would probably keep the vanilla game... I, I wouldn't say keep it the same, like never change it, but just keep doing more or less what they were doing. Um, and add a whole lot more in the expansion. But... I don't know. Could go either way, really. Uh... Not a whole lot to do right now, I don't think. Do I need to still be in orbit? 
Yeah, I need to manually move these sciences when the launch is done. Uh, so we're looking for 16k yellow and 9.2k purple, which is happening pretty rapidly. Um, I don't suppose there's a whole lot. I really wish I hadn't built in those blocks over there. I wanted the science to be all in a row. We could probably do three rows of two. Or two of two of three seems good. Um, so I'm going to do military science here. Oh, that's a massive stone mine that we haven't tapped yet. So we can get our sweet, sweet concrete. 59k. Suddenly that's doing very well, actually. And concrete. That's on top of 50k that's already here, and I think this is going to be another 50k. Uh, so that's cool. I don't know when and how it happened, but we suddenly gained like a million stone everywhere. Wait, it wasn't just from doing this mine, was it? 60 per second? I guess that doesn't hurt. I would have thought it would take longer, though. Okay. Uh, let's get our construction spiders. And I would like them to... add some rail blocks over here. This is going to be Science Central. And we'll probably have a rocket system, like, here... Or here. That, that's going to take a while to go away. Wait, we'll have a rocket launch system nearby to send the science up. Uh, so... Blue science. Purple science. And... Yellow science. Blue and yellow are the ones that are going to be relatively easy. Uh, I should have thought of this before. I can't see where the leader spider is. Oh, I found it. Fantastic. Lots of stone for coal mining is from coal mining as well. Yes, but we actually ran out of stone not that long ago. Shockingly. All adds up. A rocket block for science will work since it will since you fit six per block, six sciences. Yeah. Uh I'm rather pleased with like this can be red, green, etc. science. It's gonna look good. Uh, while we wait for that, we just have yellow signs to go. They just switched over, as a matter of fact. You can see the purple signs getting dumped in the purple chests here. How's our... I know what I can do while we wait. Uh, let's add... How much room do I need here? Just like this. That's weird. I want to make room for as many of these as we can possibly fit. I'll keep this pattern just in case I turn out to be wrong that we don't need more hypercoolers. In fact, considering the way we're gonna um, curl this around, we probably will. Maybe. Oh, those are not necessary. Save that scaffolding for later. Um, 
Um, but let's figure out the pattern here. This goes here. This goes here. Uh, I don't want to do that. One, two, three, four. Two. It's already got power. Um, I think that's basically it. Snap to grid. Uh, relative width is 14. And then, nice, I ran out of scaffolding already, let's go get some more. Need to make rocket parts slash cargo. Uh, segments, capsules in mass next, so many small pieces though, yeah. Um, It'll be fine in the long run, but in hindsight, if I were to do this again from scratch, um, I definitely would not supply the space capsules on a belt. Um, because they're so expensive and t uh, take so long to build, there's just like too much capacity in the belt alone uh, before you end up consistently having a space capsule available for each rocket. I mean, it'll take, like, a long time before they're all ready like that, but if you if you don't care about that, it's fine. But other than that, I would recommend a tiny little uh, robo-network. How did you make them in mass? Um, we've got just a double-double toil and trouble uh, two train stations, picking up seven items and belting it to uh, a few assembly machines right here. A triple exposer. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I needn't have bothered with, like, getting these belts set up and everything for this because it takes such an insane amount of uh, rocket control units for this that it's definitely definitely going to be bottlenecked on something else. Time to go and make blocks for solar accumulators? Yeah. I knew I would have to do those eventually, but um, those are some things that get procrastinated, especially when there's hardly anything else that it's going to get produced for. Like, uh, yellow belt and yellow inserters for green science is a good example. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Creakley, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, should have put those a bit closer. And over here. Alright, step one is always the input rail. I should probably make that just part of the standard. Although we don't always use it. Copy this over here. And this over here. Are you still on core mining only? I was never on core mining only, but... It did become the bulk of our resource throughput. Uh, Vin Shady, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And this goes here. This goes here, I think. Yes. And then, like so. Alright, so what do we need for blue signs? Advanced circuit, multi-cylinder, and sulfur. Um, 
let's do the standard layout of uh, assembly machines and beacon. I think I've got this set to do prods. Yes, good. And recipe is blue science. We need to give it power so we know how fast it's going to go. And let's see. That's only two per second, and the consumption is quite slow as well. Uh, how many of these blocks can we generally fit? 38, maybe 40. That is actually... 40 is actually perfect. Uh, two belts of red circuits, almost two belts of blue science output, uh, one red belt of sulfur, and two belts of multi-cylinder engine. So one belt, two belt, two belt, two belt. I think we'll start tentatively, um, by copying red signs, just like we did with uh, green. I'll change the recipes, get rid of the uh, drop-off combinators to start with. And we can do up to eight inputs just from those two train stations. We only need three, but we have to think about the throughput. Let's check on orbit. Where am I? That's concerning. Um, and why do I have all these science packs in my inventory? Oh, I don't want to delete that. Oh, that's right. I was going back for scaffolding. And I thought I set myself so I was drifting upward, but I must have still had my jetpack on. So if I turn the jetpack off, I don't lose any momentum if I let go of the controls. Okay, what did I come here for? Scaffolding, I think. Let's grab... A lot more than that. Why do I have so many construction bots? Um, I genuinely have no idea. Let's put them into the robot network. And... Uh, where can I scrounge some inventory space. Oh, yeah, that can stay. That's fine. Give to me the scaffolding, please. And I'll drift down this way. Now. Uh, we seem to be missing some prod modules. Maybe I should have the spiders carry more of them. This is not the first time they've had to go back. And it's always two trips, I think, to cover everything. Can they cross that? Okay. Wait, what? Oh, the bots are all jumping out. Uh, 
All right, I'll park you there for a moment. And let's place the scaffolding. Forgot the bots would do that. Seems good. Except that this will connect over there. I think I brought enough scaffolding to fill all this out. And next. I do wish it would place the ghosts over, even if there's lack of scaffolding or landfill or whatever. There's a little gap here somewhere. There we go. And be absolutely sure this has to go to here. And this is the same pipe which we need just because of the shape of this part. Okay. Um, that'll do, I th think. Yeah, that should be sufficient. So how many are we, are we missing for now? Uh, 44 plus... 12 uh, is 56, so I actually didn't queue up enough just yet. Pulse that in. And we're still waiting on 52 of these. Mostly because the bots are very slow at picking up this copper cable. Um, I could go and give them a hand, that'll make 10 of them at once. Does this thing work, or did this part get jammed? I think that's fine. Yeah, that part looks okay. Finally, the expansion built. Yes, indeed. Majagus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We've already finished 469 uh, energy science packs. Brilliant. Uh, sadly, we haven't made any bioscience. We have done almost 300 material science, though, and zero astronomic science packs. I'm actually a little bit surprised by that. UV data... The only problem that we're having with Astro is the coolant isn't making it all the way to UV observation frames. Just from the nature of pipes, uh, other things are getting prioritized because this is as far away as possible from where it's getting produced. It was those yellow machines that bottlenecked for me. Try to prioritize that unloading of blank data cards. Yeah. Um, that's definitely one of the challenges, uh, because these things make 32 blank data cards every time they finish um, for significant data. So you really have to make sure there's somewhere for that to go. This looks bad, but I'm pretty sure it's fine. The main thing here is that um, uh, energy insights are getting to this thing. And to this one. I don't know why it's so much better on this side. But that's actually bottlenecking all of this. We're getting like less than half of the production rate of uh, insights that 
compared to what I would necessarily expect. In fact, if I just pick this up and put it in here, well, we do run into the same problem again. I think I know what's happening here. Um, can you do this side first? Yeah, I think it's because the inserter was biasing one side of the belt there. Um, so now we need... I throw I, I, I put all my inserters away temporarily. Do these guys have blues? They do. Fantastic. Over to the bridge, please. And come over to here. That's not where they need to go. Yes, it is. So we're probably going to have the same problem at uh, some different... Okay, not this one. I thought I used the same shape in another build. Yeah, there it is. Okay. And material science is just cruising along. We don't really have any bio sludge yet. Uh, material science will eventually start that loop make enough bio sludge to start that loop, but we might want to consider going out of our way to produce the bio sludge before that happens. I noticed some speed modules over here that hadn't been placed yet. Not that it makes a whole lot of difference right now. Uh, so, let's peek back at... Where did I send my construction spiders? I thought I sent them back here. Those are the military spiders, as expected. Let's send them on a little mission. If I can find the leader. Here it is. Like a needle in a haystack. Get those expansions out of the way. And continue up here. Let's not assume that's a tiny base. And I'll bring them back to where there's a lot of terrain to help them if they get attacked. Now, where are our construction spiders? I sent them back in this direction. I thought I pathed them around the water and up here. Science rail blocks? Um, oh, that's right. Because the bots all jumped out of them, I had to stop them. Thank you. And if I go over there, that's going to happen again. Let's not do that. Hey, Heinja. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good morning. Game, I'm at the point to automate the first rockets. How do you do it? And what should I look out for? Uh, do you mean the cargo rockets? Or like this thing? The vanilla-ish rocket silo? Look at the recipes and see the ingredients and plan out those items in mass. Uh, for the cargo rockets? Yeah, so 
things to watch out for. Um, do not let... Actually, this is a better illustration. Uh, easiest way to deal with it, uh, a problem that you might end up with, is if the inventory gets full, there's nowhere... Because of the way the mod works, um, you put a space capsule or a cargo rocket section into this inventory and then it sort of disappears and gets added to this. I'm surprised the cargo rocket sections are struggling of all things. Oh, they're not. Wait, what's going on here? Is it just waiting for the space capsule? Why does that have a filter of iron? Well, oh, that makes sense. Set filters blacklist. And it's finding cargo. Huh? Oh, there's a... No? What is... What's going on here? Set filters, blacklist, red wire here. Zero space capsule, that's just to remind us what's going to be here. Negative 99 cargo rocket sections means they can put in another 99 over the one that they normally would with that setup. Um, and then these ones are just... Cargo rocket has to be ready to launch before you put something in. Because if you fill this inventory, there's no way to put in cargo rocket sections or space capsules. Um, this appears to be the same, and yet... So, cargo rocket sections, there are one. We're allowed to put in a hundred, but you have a blacklist of cargo rocket section. Why is that? Cargo rocket section says one hundred. But that's just not true. I'm guessing the same thing is happening with this one? Yeah. That's the cargo itself? I mean, there's 47 copper... Oh, I was looking at... Oh. Okay. So then, the only reason this isn't ready is there's no space capsule. Okay, good. A derp. Okay, so... Yeah, um... This is aimed at a certain, uh... Uh, landing pad. You can have duplicate landing pads, it will go to both of them. Uh, you can even aim this at every landing pad with the same name, even across different surfaces, if you want to. So far, I don't have an interest in doing that. Um, it will not, it, whether you like it or not, it will not launch um, automatically if there is a single thing in the inventory space uh, in the cargo landing pad. So if you set it up to launch automatically, you don't have to worry about it overfilling. Um, I don't recommend trying to set up a single cargo rocket silo to send multiple resources unless you're happy to have it uh, partly empty. Doing the logic to fill it up with multiple resources with the right ratios is a bit of a headache to say the least. Uh, what else? I think that's just about it. Make sure you put in exactly one um, space capsule. Make sure you put in exactly 100 cargo rocket sections. Uh, you could do a more complicated circuit to allow it to almost fill the rocket before it's ready to launch, but it really doesn't take that long to load it. Especially considering you're not going to launch them that often. You can limit the cargo size like a regular chest. That's true. Wait, so if you do this, does that mean... 
doesn't it mean you wouldn't be able to put the cargo sections in anyway? And it acts like full. Yeah. Uh, let's check on where we are now. Uh, probably nowhere near having... There's 46 of these to go. And we're very, very, very much bottlenecked on the bots. Putting that stuff, uh, putting the proper cable in there. I kind of want to go give it a boost, but I, I'm going to have to, like, do that multiple times. I feel like a better use of my time is to just uh, let it happen automatically. Focus on something else. Get the pipes placed at least. Oh, that's what I've been waiting for. There it is, 16,000 of each science pack. Let's launch. And... Should be arriving right about here quite soon. Any second now. Oh, here it comes. Fantastic. Let's take red science, put it over here. Um, I might just temporarily chuck all that scaffolding in there. In goes here. Military. Uh, yellow. And purple. Amazing how quickly you can move tens of thousands of items. And the research begins. Get all that. I could have done that earlier. Get that science out of my inventory. Space railway is already half done. So eight of these are not that slow. We definitely have some room to expand them if we want to. How fast are we consuming here? 0.773 per second. I believe that is uh, faster than we can produce from this base. Must not, must be actively researching. Okay. That's our space rail. Fantastic. What else have we got? Uh, shooting speed, I remember. That's going to improve rockets. And thus our spiders. Alright. I want to compare... Production and consumption of... Yeah, this is enough to consume every material science pack from this base. Even if the entire base was going at full speed and we never stopped researching. Saturate that belt. I'm working on it. Alright, cool. Uh, what else can we queue up? We don't really have bioscience just yet. We don't really have astroscience just yet. I mean, we do, but the fluid needs to saturate everything. Uh, bioscience, I guess, is the same, actually, but it's even... S without intervention, it's going to be even slower than... Um, uh, astronomic science packs to get started because we need the bio sludge to get the loop to begin 
Tesla gun. Oh. We definitely need this. That'll let me finish the Holmium build downstairs. Tesla gun does indeed look very inviting. Um, productivity. That requires bio for some reason. What else we got? I already queued that. Hypercooling 3. Is this a more efficient version of this recipe? That's going to help. In fact, I should probably prioritize that. This opens up a lot. Flat solar panel 2. Very exciting. Uh, that requires a rainbow of almost everything. Ooh. Weapon delivery capsule iridium pile driver. That sounds very useful. And we can finally get pylons. I need beryllium though, so it's not going to make that much of a difference just yet. Add on power pole. Precise control over electrical coverage. So it's like the smallest possible connector. Work of robot speed. Absolutely. Thank you. What does strength need? It's for more inventory space. Need a yeet sound emote. <laughs> yeet. All right, I think it's probably about time to go back to Navis. Um, I can get the spiders to place all the thermal radiators when the time comes. Thermal radiator. Uh, stacks to 50, apparently. That's good. In fact, just a couple of these will do. Let's send myself back home. I'll grab this capsule and give the bots one less thing to have to do. And... Uh, let's get our spiders... To position... Oh. The landing kind of knocked me or something. Let's get our spiders to position where they will be given the thermal radiators as soon as they're built. Bye-bye. Don't forget to pick up scaffolding from Red Science. Oh. Whoops. Well, I can fix that later. 16,000 red science is going to last quite a while. Um, there's only... Oh, I know what I can do here. This is going to make the bots cry, but... It's probably fine. Don't need this anymore. Do you need this? Don't need this. I don't think I need this anymore. Uh, construction spiders could be resupplied. Yes. Oh, let's fix this uh, chop cut bar. And summon the fast spider. I need to get resupplied though. Many will die, but it's worth their sacrifice. We've actually only got um, uh, 50 logistic bots active up here, which means they're not subject to the uh, bot destruction. This thing got jammed again. How does this happen? Oh, it's the, that specific one is full. If I get the bots to 
start deconstructing this. They'll empty the chest out a bit. Good thing construction bots are not subjected to the bot wind. Then cancel that. And hopefully that'll sort it out. Okay. Resupply continues. I accidentally brought a space laboratory back with me. Um, not going to worry too much about that. It's nice to see science ticking over again. Let's get our resupply train to go over to this build. I'll get you to park here, actually. This is taking a little bit longer than expected. Wait, does this still... We don't actually need this cargo rocket. Um, doing its thing anymore. Let's set this to... Uh, Nervous Orbit General. And empty it. Nitron XE, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, what happened here? Uh, I don't think we need to be loading this with signs again. Should have noticed that a little bit sooner, or remembered. That was quick. And Tesla guns at 2%. Fantastic. So what do we actually get out of this? We need Holmium, Holmium, Iron Stream, Plastic Bar to make the gun. Holmium and Battery makes the ammo, so... But you have to make it in an electromagnetics facility. So we won't be manufacturing that on the ground. Oh, how do we make space rail? Rail plus steel plus copper cable plus energy catalog. Well, we've got all of those things. Uh, it's still going to be a little bit of a nuisance to manufacture these. At least it's a hundred per energy catalog. Maybe I should automate something up here to set some catalogs aside but I was right about this taking from only one side that's been sorted out what are we waiting on here copper plate we need to send another rocket. I'm actually a little bit surprised how often we need to send rockets. Um, and we're still suffering from the problem of... Not the overall throughput of the capsules, but we need to produce a lot of them to saturate the system. And rocket control units and ultimately batteries or processing units. Uh, it takes an awful lot to do that. And currently it's red circuits actually. And that means copper. Not what I was expecting. Where are you going with that? It's taking from the mall 
to supply copper to this place. Uh, that's a little weird. Can you just go back to the depot, please? So what's happening with copper? Here we're smelting it. Don't tell me they got stuck again. Yep. And it keeps happening in a, like multiple trains at the same time. One, two, three. Every single time this happens, I find multiple trains like that. Hmm. So we do actually still have quite a bit of copper. At least drones cannot go rogue. That is good. I really don't understand why it's always copper and stone brick and never iron plate glass that I catch doing this. Whoops. There we go. And it was trying to put copper in just then. I should have stopped and looked at what it was doing. Uh, we're going to have an opportunity to do that right here. So somehow or other the train either arrives with copper. I don't think that's the case. I think it's there's four inserters sticking out when it arrives. It gets two stacks of copper in a couple of these cargo wagons. And then... 20 plus 20... Okay, 20 plus 20 plus 20. And then, like a tick later or two, it arrives at the station. And for some reason, the LTN signal from the train stop output includes what the train already had when it got here, which is 60 copper. Um, so if I move that, move that, how did it happen? I put signals 100 stone brick and 40 copper. So that is causing it to spit out signals telling it to load copper as well. It just so happens that the stone brick signal comes before copper. So given that there's only room for one signal here, it's doing stone brick. Now, when I remove this, yeah, we see it switch to copper I don't understand. There was still a stone brick signal when it switched over to copper there. Let's see what happens here. Absolutely nothing out of the ordinary. This is very difficult to troubleshoot. So the remaining amount of copper we're trying to put in is 8k. The only thing I can think to do to f try to figure out what happens with this... Oh, how did this happen? That's interesting. Why... Why is it so imbalanced? Huh. There's a significant difference in... This isn't even the one that puts extra into the train. Okay. I think we got a hint. 
So somehow, right, let's have a look at the balance loader. Copper plate divided by negative 24 output copper plate gives us the negative average. These ones are set to no condition. Except I don't know if that's a problem or not. That I don't know why this one has a lot more and the, these ones have a lot less than the other inserters. But just one chest throwing off the average can really mess this up. I know why I did this in the first place. It was to make sure it could keep up with four blue belts of copper plate coming in despite being a balanced loader. What I should have done... Let me check if this isn't how I've set it up over here. It is. I don't know why, if I've done the same thing over here, it's not causing the same problem at that station. But... The way this should be set up... Let's do a... Let's rebalance this. And now we've got the copper sticking out, so we know what happens when the next train comes. Um, yeah, the assumption that this is built on, or one of the assumptions anyway, is that we're not going to run out of copper plate for any one of these inserters. Uh, so what we need is a balanced load. And what we're also already doing is make sure we've got significantly more than a train load before the train comes. 200 stacks is probably overkill, but I'm not going to worry about that. Um, so this, these are now all set to only pick up if they're at or below the average. Um, if we want to allow it to go a bit further than the average, we can set that to 100. So this can be 100 ahead of the average and still pick something up. That will allow the whole thing to go a bit faster when it's picking up copper. But it should keep it pretty well balanced. And I'm going to copy that to these ones as well. Rather than pet, uh, patch, rather than patch all of these other ones right now, what I'm going to do is add a note. And we're going to say patched copper brick loader is here. And we're not going to change the other ones yet. If those ones have this bug happen sometimes, and this one lasts a very, very, very long time without getting stuck, uh, we're going to suppose that that fixed it. Rip assumptions? Yes, indeed. Um, so I'll just... I'll just do what I've been doing before here and fix this manually and not change anything once the train leaves. And it'll probably get stuck again. I mean, it'll definitely get stuck again. But the thing we're looking for is, will this be the only one that doesn't get stuck? Oh, and we should rebalance this just to uh, maybe I shouldn't have rebalanced it. Well, we know it's going to break if that's imbalanced. I'm like 99% positive that was the problem, except that maybe it's just the sheer volume that we've had plenty of iron as opposed to copper or stone brick or something. Um... Probably copper. Yeah, it's always copper that there's a little bit of... It's never a little bit of stone brick and a bunch of copper. It's always a little bit of copper, 
on a stone brick train. Just like this. Which suggests to me that the sheer volume of stone brick, because we don't have trouble keeping up with that, um, is preventing us from getting the reverse problem here. But we have had some issues with copper throughput. It, we need more smelters. Um, I knew that earlier, actually, but yeah, we definitely need more smelters like this. This is exciting. I think we finally figured it out. A blue lightning. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um... Thank you for all the streams. Thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. And, uh... Glad you enjoyed it. Thank you. Need more copper? Yeah, well, we have, um... Not that much copper, actually. But I was going to say we have copper saturating the input belts on all of these, so... Uh, that's not actually the problem yet, but now that I look at it, if we add some more furnaces, we're going to get to the point where we don't have enough copper to keep up with the furnaces. Because there's only one train load of copper in each of these. And I think I remember seeing that we didn't have copper ore here. Yeah, we don't. Those smelt belts, should those be mixed? I see some copper slash iron ore belts. Do you mean these ones up here, or...? Wait, which ones are you referring to? These ones? Yeah, those. Yep, this is the Omni Smelter system. Second iteration. Or second or third iteration uh, since I started using crafting combinators and industrial furnaces. Just a bit left of your Spidertron? Are we, t are we talking copper and iron ore, or copper and iron plate? Also, I should probably be... These guys didn't get their productivity modules, or we just need more of them. Uh, let's send them back to pick some up. Twitch delay strikes again. You moved the spider just after I typed it. Okay. Omni Smelter was such impressive design for me when I saw it first time. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, I almost take them for granted now, but the first time I... like, It, it literally took me hours and hours on and off for years before I got an uh, Omni Smelter design that I was really, really happy with. Um, but I was, like, not stealing from other people's designs or anything. I wanted to figure it out myself. Is there a way to watch the beginning of this series? Uh, I'm sorry, no, I, I wasn't putting them on YouTube back at the beginning of this. My apologies. Uh, Aureus, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Mix belt smelter seems logically. Uh, so the thing with this Omni Smelter is if you're just smelting one thing all the time, these belts actually can't keep up. Um, but what we do to compensate for that is uh, storage. Since we've got five, if we're keeping them close together, we've got five tiles on the side of them. Uh, we've got room for three chests for um, several inputs. Uh, stone, iron plate, iron and copper, sand, and volcanite blocks. Uh, we need hardly any volcanite blocks, so um, almost all of this chest is allowed to be sand. Actually, I should probably 
Even though it's the overflow chest, I should probably bump up the amount of sand that we can put in here. Um, but yeah, basically just a bit of combinator trickery. We use set filters blacklist, um, connect that to a chest, and it'll put just a little bit of something in the chest and then no more. But if you add a big, if you add a negative number to that, it'll let you put more in of that resource because uh, setting the filter, if this is at zero or negative, it doesn't show up. Uh, so yeah, we basically have limited input from the belt, uh, but we stockpile different resources while we're smelting the other ones. Uh, so let's leave that running for a while. Come back later when several of the stone brick trains are stuck because they've ended up with copper. And see if it's only this one that's still not stuck. And it might be good to find a copper mine. Oh, we've got one. This is on efficiency modules, though, so that's a bit slow still. I think I will pay that mine a visit. And run our module inserter over this. I don't think the bots here have speed modules. Um, but yeah, that's definitely going to help for a while. Nine million, that's going to help for more than five minutes. We're probably going to need more than one belt of output once we put the speed modules in there as well. Colors of Noise, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm excited about seeing... The thing I really don't understand is if that fixes that, which I think it will, why on earth do we never have that problem with iron or glass? And I'm pretty sure it's just that it's because there's enough iron and glass all the time. I vaguely remember maybe we've had that problem on the left side before. Maybe. And, uh, Aureus, thank you for the follow. A welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Worker robot speed, is it 71%? Is it slow, or has it stopped? It's just slow. Fantastic. That's what I like to see. Hayo fell asleep to the stream the other night, so I figure it's worth a follow. Nice, thank you. Uh, Colors of Noise, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And glad I could help with your sleep, I guess. I need a lot more speed modules than this. Um, so let's go pick some up. I haven't gone this way in a long time. God. But just seeing this part of the map actually takes me back. It's been such a long playthrough. I always find that a double-edged sword... Great that you like it, but to fall asleep with... Hmm. Okay. Is it like a danger that you'll fall asleep? Thank you very much for the Prime sub, Aureus. Much appreciated. Uh, okay, so... Construction spiders... Should be resupplied, yes. Let's get them to... Go build some of this. We need to... S Whoa, okay. We need to set these recipes... Copy-paste over here... Um, I'm sure I'm... I'm pretty sure I remember I was going to add those on the side. Uh, 
I mean complimenting the streamer that you've complimenting the streamer that you fall asleep on their stream. I mean, I've had people compliment my voice as being relaxing and all that before, so that's the way I choose to take that one. If you all get some semi ASMR out of this stream, that's fine by me. I don't know if the construction spiders are going to have enough prods to fill that out in one more trip. I think they might, I don't know. Worker robot speed, number six. Drum roll. I should definitely add a drum roll sound effect. I think I've said that before. It's only quite recently that I've found I've had enough energy to have the extra time to do something like that. Uh, okay. And that's as far as we can go without more advanced signs. It is refreshing to see the bots go at least this fast again. What else can we research for now? I just realized we're probably going to have to consume um, white. The way this is set up now, if we want uh, material science to get bioscience going, we're to get enough bio sludge um, to get the loop started, we're probably going to have to consume quite a lot of material science packs. Did this get stuck again? Nope. What are we missing? Material testing pack. Copper. It's always copper now. I think... I think this base is the reason that all of a sudden we need so much copper. To be fair, I'd fall asleep to most things at 3am, but it was much nicer with Chill Factorio vibes. Yes, indeed. Research finish? What? Nice. What should we research next? Um... Which research requires the least copper? Is it energy science? I hope. That's the one that we can actually consistently make anyway. Uh, energy science is actually stopped as well. That's a problem. There's a little bit left on the belt over here. And we've got like... 3 times 8, 24 plus, we can do some small energy science research or one or two of those. If I can find one that's not reliant on another type of research. Oh, we can do this, check off these different computer simulations. Not that one though. I don't think we have 150. The next type of energy shield does sound nice, though. 500 is a bit much. Okay. I think we're almost stuck until we fix our copper situation. Well, not stuck, just slow. If I recall correctly, thermofluid requires copper, so until you fill the system, it's going to be a deficit. That makes sense. It was consuming... Well, only a bit more than half a belt of copper, though, for the fluid. And I mean, we're actually bottlenecked on half a belt, so... Artillery range, worker robot cargo size, sure. Alright, let's go speed up the copper mine that we've already got. And when I make new ones, I need to remember to set them to encoded network ID 2. I think I forgot that over here. This one is... Oh. I should have done that one as well. Um, 
Let me just check something. Encoded network ID 2, limit trains, minimum train length. Yep, that's good. The reason we need to do this is so that trains will not take iron... For... Wait. How did I set this up? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, we have a rail block here that destroys items because there's no room left for them in storage and because of the way core mining works. Um, in order to not take from mines directly to here, we need to make sure they're not on the same virtual uh, train network. The default, if you do not include encoded network ID, is that it'll go to any station. So by putting this on one and the other stations on two, those two stations will not interact with each other. That got done surprisingly quickly. Let's do another one. Are we running out? Oh. We're sort of running out of the material science packs, but there's a few of them left. Probably not 270, though. Maybe. Alright, that is our... That's our mine bottlenecked at 45 per second. Uh, we could probably do a little bit better than that. Can you empty that bit, please? Thank you. I'm not sure if this left side is going to do 45 per second. Oh, it definitely is. Except... Yeah, good. Rate calculator doesn't recognize the ones that have nothing left to pick up. Nice. Oh, so that is 90 copper ore per second coming in, which will translate to considerably more than 90 copper plate per second, because we're going to be using the... Uh, it's all steel. Uh, we're going to be using one of the recipes with vulcanite blocks, which turns... Uh, let's see... 8 copper ore into 12, and that's without the productivity bonus. With the productivity bonus, it gets pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, we definitely need to start duplicating that uh, smelter. I think it's about time to... God, there's so many items here still. I would love to put a row of smelters here. But I think we're going to have to put them somewhere else. Like down here, maybe. Probably... Oh, that's right. I forgot I set this to snap to grid. Fantastic. We can do quite a few over there. Worker robot cargo size 3. Fantastic. Right, um, we definitely want to copy this down here, and this over here. I'm surprised the spiders aren't placing that already. There we go. Uh, I think... We need more than one belt of input, though, don't we? 
three items coming in. How much do we need to support one of these? The actual amount is not much at all. The whole thing is 90 per second for red circuits, if I recall. 86, why is... Oh, what happened here? That's odd. Oh, I think it's because this one was a bit different because it was because of that output there. Yeah. Okay. So once those modules are placed, we'll just double check. We need, in the entire thing, we only need two belts of advanced circuits. Uh, we'll call it two belts of multi-cylinder engine. And less than one belt of sulfur. I think we can share a belt between sulfur and multi-cylinder, like on each side of this. 15 plus 30 is 45 per second. That's not what I'm looking for. Um, that would only work if we could put, like, some multi-cylinders on both sides of the belt. I don't know if we're going to be able to fit this, given that the... Uh, given the inputs that we need. Uh, but I would like to... That's looking a bit weird. I would like to get started on this rail block over here. Wait, not that one. The, good, the probably good one. Let's copy that. And we'll have our smelter rows start here. Construction spiders, do your thing. So we've got uh, one of these have got stuck again. It's not the one we fixed. This could get stuck, but it's not going to happen this time. We can... Pr uh, no, I don't think we can. There isn't a way to fix... Uh, to fit two belts of input down this way, is there? It depends on how much we need. We could do belt weaving if this entire thing doesn't need too much. Which it really doesn't. Uh... Less than half, less than half a red belt, less than half a red belt, and frankly, less than half a red belt. It's a little bit surprising. I guess it's not that surprising. So yeah, uh, we can do some belt weaving. I don't think there's a way to do it otherwise, like... If I put this here, and this goes here, yeah, that wouldn't have room to turn. Uh, use mic. Thank you for the follow. You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's tentatively say that we're going to do this. And, uh, Wet Churro, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. The only question is if we're going to have room for all of the inputs up the top. So that's going to go there. Blueprint. Wait. 
switch to satellite mode and the blueprint that I make will disappear when I switch off of it. Snap to grid relative, hold shift and nice and easy. Oh, the bot speed. I love it. Oh, that's a breath of fresh air. Okay. Uh, let me just check the the rate that we needed for the inputs for these. 136 and 136. Yeah, we need nothing like that for these inputs. Um, pretty sure we can just get rid of all of this. It's not going to be something helpful as a starting point in this. Um, should probably... If we do half and half belts like so... Two belts of multi-cylinder engine... And yeah, I think we can do this because with these shared inputs as they are now, uh, this is normally two belts of output. So that's one belt of each type. If we do it on both sides, that's two belts of output for each resource. The entire thing needs less than two belts of output uh, of input rather for multi-cylinder engines. So we should be able to get away with just, uh, do it this way, multi-cylinder, sulfur, and here we have a little combinatorless balanced and loader setup. The downside of that is you lose some throughput, but if you're not needing maximum throughput from the inserters and bottlenecking on the belt like we are here. That's more than enough. All we do is uh, read hand contents hold and also read a bit of belt and say that multi-cylinder engines have to be equal to zero before we pick up some more. That way all of the inserters output at the same time and wait for each other. So now that we've done that, we can copy paste. And then we just need to um we need two belts for that. So yeah, these are gonna be four belts. Are we going to have room? This one is going to be advanced circuits. Uh, we only need 90 per second, so that can probably all just come out here. For example, or more like Classic lane balancer. So ironically, even though even though red circuits is what we need the most of. If you add these together, it's more than... It's the same as red circuits, actually. But... Because of the shape of what we need to do with multi-cylinder engines, we're going to need more belts uh, for these items than we do for red circuits, which feels a little bit strange. Um, okay. We're going to need to 
uh, split off from there. I should probably go ahead and... Well, I'm not going to bother changing those until we know... Until we know that we're going to be able to do this. So this needs to go back here, and here, and so on. Yes, we can do it like this. You know what, I, I think I will replace all of the inputs already, it's just going to be easier to visualize. Uh, we might end up having to use medium poles, which is a little tragic, but that's fine. No, we can put substations in the outputs. Yeah, no, we don't have to change any of that. Okay, good. It's only the inputs that we're changing. And it goes like so. Actually, I think I'll do a little snap to grid relative. Uh, no, I won't. I could, but just calculating where this actually goes is as difficult as just clicking this a few times. Alright, where did I cons- Wow. I somehow was not expecting them to have built this much already. Fantastic. Uh, we're just missing the crafting combinators, which makes me a little bit surprised that I'm seeing this stuff smelting, but that's because I think I copy-pasted it when it was smelting steel. So we'll place those, and get the spiders to finish the rail. And did I fix this one? I did. Good. That bit of water won't matter for now. That's fine. Fantastic. Uh, before we start on the next one, I'll get the spiders to drop all those... Uh, Undergrounds. I don't think we have a red belt in that train. And here is the saddest part of this build. It's trying to smelt glass when we haven't accumulated sand yet. But in the long run, that's going to be fine. Why do I have a bunch of vulcanite being returned to me? About 1% per second, so 100 seconds. Wait, what was that? What was the 1% per second? Uh, can I get rid of this, please? There we go. What are we missing here? A lot of blue undergrounds. Luckily, we have those. And I guess I'll get our spiders to start on the next one of these. Uh, 
Have you tried? Oh, right. Um, and over here. Wait, did I? I think my bots are upset. What? No, but they're fine. For some reason, they're just not being that active here. Right then. I can remove that. Um, this goes here. This goes here. And I think we just keep copying this. Oh, that's actually a great fit. Which means we can... Uh, just keep doing it this way. And then the question is if and how... Oh, wait, that can be red belt, can't it? No, I'm not sure it can. We'll see. Uh, this doesn't have need to have two belts going all the way across. In fact, it doesn't need quite so many splitters. Um, just one splitter here. And then... This one... How many inputs do we have here? Uh, nine. That is not a nice clean number. I take it back. We'll do some splitters everywhere. Uh, it's definitely going to be a bit overkill having two belts coming in from the point at which we only need one, though. 39... Uh, 45 per second from here. I think we will... Stop doing double belts at this point. And then... Just do it like that. There we go. Do a regular bob song. I would have thought bobs would have taken a lot longer. I've never tried it myself. Okay. One, two, three, four. I think we can get away with this. So we need to... We don't really need to merge these. We definitely need to not lane balance them. That'll mess things up. That fits really well. Splitter goes like so. I think we're going to have to have one, two, three, four, which will be fine. Two, three, four, let's do it like that instead. Actually, let's not do that. Uh, 
I might as well see if I can line it up so that these are always in the same spot. We also need to split this off to go down here. Let me just double check. It's not going to come even close to the full belt for those. No, it's fine. Of course, it depends on map settings and biter settings. Oh, for sure. Uh, why don't we do these in the middle? Then this goes here. And can we just repeat that? Except for the obvious thing, which is that we're going to need to, like, rebalance and bring things back together again. Make sure there's enough throughput for everything. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we can do this. In fact, we should be able to fit a balancer between these. So I really don't... This is a throughput unlimited balancer, right? Can't remember if it is. Um, but yeah, it should be no trouble at all. My balance? Yes, it is. Uh, so with the shape of this, we're going to have to keep taking from the belt on the right side. I suppose we could always just splitter, splitter, splitter like that. It's going to be overkill, though, because the throughput that we need is not that high. Let's see. For the first half, we need 30 multi-cylinder engines per second. That's less than half a belt. No, it's more than half a belt. Um, so one belt with our shared belt, that is. This is 26. Okay, so once we get to here... Wait, was that exactly 22.5? Oh, it was. Amazing. Let me just stand in the right spot to make sure that I've marked it. So for the higher throughput one, that is one half belt. And... What we could do is, instead of balancing, uh, we push that down here. You have eight sets of machines, make each belt go to two sets, and then just cut it and take a new belt to the next set. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So this belt goes to uh, these four inputs. As long as it's going to be enough, it's fine. We've got a balanced loader, balanced unloader. We actually only need 60 per second for the whole thing. So like three belts. Well, no, more than three belts. Derp. So... That actually goes there. And then... Can we do this three times? Yes, good. Get rid of all of these. Which is a very convenient shape, considering what we've got coming from the right side. Uh, Spooters... I'm just going to grab some of this belt and help them out a little bit. But I think I should probably resupply them. 
Uh, let's send you back to base. Actually, the mole should be good enough. There's only certain things that I don't have supplied from this mole. That's a pretty convenient size for the roboports. Okay. Uh, so what's next? So this was a half one, one, two, three. There's not going to be another half one. So one, two, three of these gives us 22.5 per second. Wait, what? Twenty two point five per I think I'm highlighting the wrong spot somehow. Is this it? Hang on. This this is one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is seven. Twenty six point two five. Okay, I did that wrong. So this one should actually be where this stops. And then we'll do this thing a bit sooner. Oh, did we f pretty much finish this build? More or less. Uh, construction spiders are already getting resupplied. Fantastic. We had enough furnaces, right? Yeah. Let's bring them back down here. And I'll have another look at this build. So, this is uh, only one, two, three input belts. But I think. One, two, three, that's going to be exactly 22.5, right? Yeah, perfect. Uh, I feel like this is better. One, two, three. And then these two come down, just like here, as far as possible. I feel like that looks a little bit cleaner. Can't do it there. Alright, so this one... So one more belt, one, two, three. And... Hmm. My bots are currently very upset with me. So if we're going to do it like this, we either need a 4 to 3 balancer, or we just need to like merge um, everything into place.
like, we've already got balanced unloads from these. The topmost belt goes to here, goes to here, goes to here, and goes nowhere, actually. I think we'll just remove this belt. And then... That would actually mean we can push this over here. And we'll split these in this direction. That should be sufficient. I think we can move these over a little bit. More than a little bit. Make that look better. And this one... Cool. If I'm not mistaken, that is it. Let's put some requests here. And we need to change this to red circuits. These are set... oh. Oh right, I forgot this was... Set that up all nice and universal like. Uh, we don't actually need the double stations here. We only need 90 per second. And this one could probably look a little bit neater. Okay, that crisscrossing wire is going to drive me crazy. Much better. What? Why would you do this? Um, I cannot let this stand. Nice and neat. Getting there. better. Okay. And what about output? Is that going to be a problem? I think it's already done. The whole thing only produces two belts of output, right? Yes. Whereas red probably produces quite a lot more. Uh, 180 per second. So this output, these output belts are overkill. But it's actually more work to replace them um, than it is to just leave it. I'm a little sad that we need another pole just for that one inserter. But it's no big deal. If this only reached down to here, that'd be a perfect spot. Can we do a, something a little bit neater here? Not really.
I guess that would have been neater, actually. Literally just one tile off. Not gonna lie, that hurts a little bit. Okay. Did I bring the spiders back? It did. It looks like they've finished everything here. Fantastic. Wait, there's a few things missing. It's just the crafting combinators. I need to go back for more. I don't usually have the spiders carry those. Um, I will have them get started on the next one, though. And where's my speedy spider? Here we go. I'll set these requests first. So, multi-cylinder engine and... I know sulfur stacks to 50. I think multi-cylinder engine is the same. Yes, good. Small poles to the rescue? Um, no, I think we're good. Uh, so we're going to go 8,000 multi-cylinder. And actually two train loads, 16,000. Same goes for sulfur. And connect. Wait, set the station name first. Multi-cylinder engine and sulfur requester. And this one is just red circuits. Two train loads. And we need to tell LTN what we've got as well. Also, uh, no, we don't need a combinator for this. Did you fix all the copper train network IDs? Um, I think it was just the one. Oh, no, the copper one was already correct. It was iron. Uh, this one is already correct. And this one over here is the one that I forgot to fix as well. So, encoded network ID number two means it won't interact with our item destruction drop-offs. It will interact with everything else because the default is to interact with every station. I think I'll ride this back home. Uh, Speedy Spider can stay here for now. What is that? Oh. That poor artillery turret ghost is still there. Whoops. The biters were very specific in what they destroyed over here. All my military spiders just chilling three centimeters out of range of this base. And let's get rid of these as well. And then reevaluate. Oh, there's the water. All right, I need to turn this train around. And I need crafting combinators. How many does it take? 36. Uh, I should probably request a few more then. I can make 80 with what I'm carrying. Slowly cleaning out the planet. Yes, indeed. Uh, blue lightning. Uh, what's I about to pick up? Crafting combinators. Let's just carry a few stacks for now. I 
probably should... Oh no, there's no prods here either. Uh, let's get those spiders to pick up some stuff. Are we done? I'll take some more prods with me. And I'll ride the train back. What is happening to our UPS, though? Over to here, please. We're back up to 40. It's getting a bit nasty. Uh, I wonder how many of these we've got built now. 37 to go. That is not very good. We've run out of pumps, perhaps? I don't think I automated pumps up here, so that's probably the problem. What does it take to make a pump? Uh, we do have all of those things. So let's do a little automation. Pump. That should do it. Wait, is that not in the... Logistic storage, 50. Okay, we do have some. Alright, fantastic. Uh, let's drop off our productivity modules and stuff before we waste a whole lot of resources. That's all the crafting combinators, I think. And apparently we're also missing some underground belts. I may have gone a little bit overboard grabbing all those productivity modules. Let's get started on the next one. And... We've almost doubled our furnaces. That's probably going to be enough for the near future. Oh yeah, we're fighting the biters as well. That's probably not helping with the UPS. along with 700 million other things that are always happening with this base. Uh, red circuits are very, very much bottlenecked on copper. Got a train coming to pick some up right now. Oh, and it's going to be a while before we get our red circuits, unfortunately. We've already got multi-cylinder engines on the way. Well, it'll be a little while before we can see it in motion, but I think that is blue science done anyway. Bots are upset with me. Uh, I should probably grab some more underground belts. Regular belts. Maybe not that much. I 
got energy. Oh, that would probably... I'm going to run out of inventory space if I do that. Uh, okay, temporary chest. Bots go here. Power armor. And away go the bots. Fantastic. Construction spiders are resupplying. You know, considering how much, um, considering how much the UPS dropped recently, I'm beginning to wonder if the Omni smelters are really expensive for that. Oh, and let's check on the copper and stone brick loader situation. I think this one was here before, I hadn't fixed it yet. Um, sample size isn't great, but it is looking like that fix is what we needed. EPS is creeping back up. I think it was the Biderac room, maybe. Among other things. Wait, how many rockets do they have? Uh, the ones at the back have plenty still. And come back to here after that. I'm about to run out of butt energy. Well, the batteries are about to run out. The intern... Oh. I thought the... Uh, internal and batteries of the personal roboports would only run out after this was empty. Can I carry these now? Yes, good. I should probably... Make sure the trains don't come uh, until everything's built properly. Alright, construction spiders are resupplied. I think they can actually get across that. Um, it depends where exactly they run into the shoreline. I'm curious to see if they make it. Rocket scoper. Seems like the spiders aren't having much trouble with that movement pattern. Um, I don't suppose we have some red circuits somewhere that I can force. We have 30k. That's almost a train load. But we're waiting on copper to get any more. What I might do for testing purposes is temporarily set the request priority here very, very high. And... Uh, lower the request stack threshold. Lower the provide stack threshold over here. And once that light goes yellow, I'll switch it back. And then we'll see the train come and uh, visit our new location. And it's taking a little while. 
Oh, there it goes. That back up. Brain is coming to here. Fantastic. 60 and remove the priority. The construction spiders did indeed cross the nuclear bridge. Fantastic. So everything stopped on copper at this point. It's like when you start mass producing modules in vanilla. Is there any more research I can do at this stage? Uh, yes, there is. What is this? Particle Collider. Collides high-speed particles and analyzes the results. Cool. Mostly stuff we've already got up here, plus Holmium Cable. That reminds me, uh, there's an incomplete Holmium build over here because I didn't have the recipe. And now we do. But I think everything else here is already set up properly. Yep. So that's Holmium Cable. What does Holmium Plate stack to? 100. So if this stacks to 200, it's just as stack efficient. If not more, if you consider the... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Productivity bonus. Uh, it seems that the... Fast inserters can't keep up with the output. I don't know why... Oh. Wait, how fast is... It? How fast is this? 95 per second. Okay. That's pretty quick. Um... I do need to... I do need to have the input belt reach on this side. And... The way I've laid this out, it's pretty awkward getting a belt to go... Um, both in one direction. But, we can simply... turn these around. And bring this down here. And that'll be... Uh, that'll be bottlenecked on two belts of output, which is fine. Particle Collider is complete. Uh, we don't really have... Astronomic yet. Energy shield. That's a bit expensive. Okay, I think we're going to wait a little while on further research. Construction spiders have done their thing. I think we can safely uh, bring in the Constant Combinators now, but give LTN the requests. Do I not have any... I have no Constant Combinators. And I must combinate. Why are these rail not built? We've... Oh no. I think we've got a cloud of bots. Uh, yeah, there they are. Following our construction spiders.
Do I have any rail? I do. But my bot's being weird as well. Okay. Um, let's head up here. I don't, don't actually have blue belt. Uh, train. Give me blue belt, please. That should be more than enough. I think I'll send you back home for now. Uh, did I change the name of the station? Oh, I didn't include the station. That would probably help. Let's add this down here. And I'm pretty sure that's just a standard... Yeah. Just a standard pickup. Roboport's on. Fantastic. Also, these are probably going to need to be stack inserters to output. Actually, how much input do we need for this? 36 and 36. That's more than one half belt for each. Um, we're never going to make... Well, how much plate do we make here? Only 23 per second. So this build really is overkill. Um, I could drop this down to 18 and just have the one belt I mean, it doesn't hurt to be able to do a little bit of burst production, but no. I think we will do that. That's still more than one blue belt. And bonus points, the plate here can actually support it. Let's get back to our blue science build and finish the last step. Did I need construction spiders here for something? Just rail, basically. Alright, LTN, standard pickup. Uh, let's see. Blue science. Uh, provider. That goes there. That goes there. And this is already all good. Nice. Wait, what? Oh, these do not need to go a hundred ahead of the average. We're not getting blue science that quickly. And I think I picked some up by accident. Let's rebalance it. Fantastic. Is the... Oh! I missed a spot. 
The red wire that connects the inserter to the individual chest was missing, which means it's probably missing up here. Not that it mattered. Wait, what? Oh. Not that it mattered in this case because the input was so fast. Just double check the settings on those. Good. And how fast can we get green science from here? 180 per second. Right. There we go. I was going to say I'm a little surprised there's no green science, and then I forgot. I, I remembered I hadn't finished the prerequisites yet. Impact testing on Navis is much more interesting than in space. I didn't know you could do impact testing on Navis. Let the explosions come. Oh, I see what you mean. Yes. Alright. Uh, cool. Where's our construction spiders? They finally got their bots back. Let's get you over here first. You're talking about wanting to build stuff before allowing trains to arrive. Yes. I think I recall the impact testing later on. Actually, you actually have to build locomotives for it. The implications of that are a little bit scary. Alright. I think I will take a short break for now. Be back in just a few minutes. And uh, definitely do not... Oh, I almost missed some rail here. Did we make the same mistake up here? No. Do these all have the rail they need? Yes. Okay. Impact testing of train in space sounds kind of cool, definitely. Also, Mamas, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah, I will take a short break. Don't go anywhere. Then, what's next? I was going to say, we didn't already fill this with signs, did we? 
run out of red circuits. It's going to be a while before we make more of that. 25k already, though. Um, so we've got more smelting. We've got more copper throughput. We need even more copper throughput. At least for a while. 5.1 million over there. I kind of want to go to a new planet. Um, the Vitamelange planet sounds like fun. If I recall correctly, there's... No, not the Vitamelange planet. The one uh, just to the so-called north of it. Um, get some more uranium and there's hardly any biters. We can clear them all out. And that'll also give us some more regular core fragments, which means more copper. Let's head this way. Get your Tesla gun and go on a spree. That's a good point, actually. As soon as my eyes are off the spiders, I'll double check what we need for the Tesla gun. Oh, there's the coast again. That's what I wanted to see. So we could put a wall here and maybe a wall up here. But honestly, I would rather get the biters off this planet. Um, it's going to take a while, but it is happening. Little by little. It's going to help our UPS as well. Or I think it is. It made a pretty big impact to UPS on the Death World playthrough when I accidentally loaded it without Rampant. There were like 10 times fewer biters. Alright, let's do this pattern, and then, oh, get them to resupply. And what else? Drop this request down to 50. Uh, I suppose we'll start preparing to go to the another, uh, go to that planet. The planet I have in mind is Lothar. We're at three percent, and the planet size is five thousand, which isn't okay. It's kind of big, but I'm pretty sure with spiders we can roll over the biters, uh, pretty quickly. And that's going to give us a lot of uranium to send back, which is one of the resources that we're having trouble with. Vitamelange planet is going to be a lot more difficult. Not as many, well, actually, no, more biters, biter meteors, and it's a huge planet. Have you explored one of those pyramids yet? Yes, uh, on Mariel, I found the first one. And it was pretty chunky. Um, with the tech that I had, there was an awful lot of biters in there, pretty difficult to deal with.
Spiders didn't even get scratched. Oh, some of them did. Just barely. Uh, let's have our construction spiders keep building the rails so they don't have to next time. Now that we're out of the pollution cloud, the biters probably won't be expanding as aggressively, right? At least on this front. Okay. Is this our usual? Yes. Uh, we're gonna need one of these, one of these. Nine of these. Uh, I'm already carrying delivery cannons. Assembly machines I'm carrying already. A little bit of rocket fuel doesn't hurt. Cargo rocket section packed. We'll probably take more of those. Oh, this... What? Oh, I see. How many flat solar panels do we have here? Um, flat solar panel. Oh, and we can make these now, can't we? What does it take? Flat solar panel plus Holmium plate plus Holmium cable plus multispectral mirror. That's not that bad, actually. I should probably convert to... It's twice as good? No way. Um, does that cover the same space? It does. Wow. Okay. Um, currently we have... You're kidding. We actually have a full cargo rocket of these, and it only hasn't come down because I forgot to set it to launch when full. Well, that'll be 10,000 flat solar panels. Um, how many did we end up putting on, for example, Mariel? Oh, I shouldn't have brought them down here if I wanted to upgrade them. Whoops. It's fine. This is only 2,000. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, especially considering that can easily support four core mining drills. Uh, can probably support nine of them, which is equivalent to three without the diminishing returns. Uh, we've actually been okay for Vulcanite for a while now, so I think this might be sufficient for a while. We can fit 10k in the rocket. 2k is what we have on Mariel, but... Um... We actually get bonus solar power on Marielle, and Lothar is only 50%. Um, we could set it up to break down core fragments on the planet so that we can get the uranium there, but frankly... That is kind of a pain. It takes a lot of infrastructure. I'm very tempted to set up nuclear power on Lothar, but we'll have it powered by... Uh, just like on... which planet was it? Taser? Yeah, just like on Taser, 
will run it off of nuclear power. Is there water on our target planet? Ocean? Yes, good. Okay. Treeless, unusual, flat. Interesting. It's not like a ocean planet, is it? No. Not much bot interference. Or is that like 70% of what we've got here? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um... I would definitely like to set up nuclear power. I don't remember where I put the blueprint, so let's look at Taser. We need only 28 and 48. That's a pretty small nuclear reactor, honestly. Um... I would like to do this, but with more core mining drills. Won't generate the surface, the biters will start to spread? Yeah, I haven't. We've got like a hundred megawatts spare here. So that's two more core mining drills, that's not as much as I want. So... I think we'll do basically this, but we'll have a bigger uh, nuclear plant. And the botnet, we're allowed to have 50 logistic bots without having them ever die from bot interference wind. So... Where's that blueprint that I made? Here it is. Oh, that's right. We're using uh, media point defense this time. Considering that I set up uh, this block to use... Um, everything but coal. I think I would rather just set it up to do the media point defenses. I mean, not to point defense, the global ones. That is to say... this build right here. And we'll use logistic bots to get the, uh, to get the nuclear fuel into place. All right. Am I carrying transmitters? No. Wait, this doesn't default to the stack size, does it? Well, we only need... I think it stacks to 10. We'll make sure we don't lose them. Twelve of those. I'll make, make it 10. I'm pretty sure 10 is more than enough. Uh, we'll bring a few extra in case we lose them. Don't forget an umbrella. Do I even have the umbrella automated? I don't think so. Umbrella. Nope. Can I handcraft it now? Where be umbrella? It's under equipment and combat. I need double the s concrete, glass, copper, and steel. Oh, 
concrete. Uh, I don't think I have a request for concrete. I do, somewhere. Here it is. So I'll carry that with me. Um, how many substations did it take on Marian? Oh, we're not doing solar panels, though. I mean, we'll do some as kind of a backup, but this is 304. Okay, so 500 is comfortably overkill. And how many accumulators was that? I don't think I want to take this many solar panels and accumulators if... Um, 16k accumulators, wow. If we're going to be running off nuclear. So let's bump that down to like 500. And I think it's six times as many accumulators with this layout. We're going to need some fuel refineries uh, in order to get back. We'll take some extra uh, packed cargo rocket sections so we can send a few. Let's, let's make it a hundred. So that's uh, five rockets we could send back. Wait, no, 50 rockets. Derp. I don't think that's right either. No, it's five rockets, isn't it? Yeah. We're going to need nuclear power stuff. Let's make that... Uh, 150. Let's make it 250, 1, I don't think I've got this much stuff accumulated. A stack of nuclear plants. Uh, 400 steam turbines. What else? Uh, make it like 1,200 pipe, 200 storage tanks. Many underground pipes. Only 16. Make it a stack. And some pumps. Uh, don't forget robo ports. Seems we're going to have plenty of space left over still. Multicolored chests I'm already carrying. Uh, 
6.5k landfill times 2. That might be a problem. Hundred and thirty stacks for landfill if we're gonna make two of those. We could probably get some stone on the planet. In order to make landfill. We'll see how much is left over after everything else. I'll put a empty landfill request here. So that I hopefully don't forget it. Carrying the yellow inserters already. Wait, did I not turn this on? There we go. Hello, Stargut. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, lamps I don't really care about. Also, I think I'm carrying them. And I th think that's just about it. So, what Holmium are we already sending to space? I think it's just the plate, isn't it? Yeah, Holmium plate. Uh, if we want the productivity bonus for the wire, or cable rather, we need to do that here. Which, we may as well, it's very, very fast. It only stacks to 50 though. Okay, this stacks to 100, multiply by 2, and then the stack size is half as much. Not very stack size efficient, but in order to... But we, we get a productivity bonus of 32% for the Holmanite itself. Cargo rocket sections are not cheap, though. It's actually hard to estimate um, you can add cryonite slush. To make more cold thermo fluid. Hey Veldek. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It will get cheap with Beryllium? Well, what I'm wondering is... Okay, we haven't really had any trouble with Holmium. Uh, so I'm almost thinking it's better to send it up as plate and turn it into cable uh, in space. And that's going to be much more stack size efficient. Um... So we're paying Holmium in order to save lots of other resources in that case. Cargo rocket section includes 59 concrete in the cost. Those are not cheap. I just sort of got used to taking them for granted because automation. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be sending cable up in a cargo rocket. Maybe I should be converting it. Uh, we need to get the plastic as well, but that's not that difficult. Hmm. It also simplifies the logistics. That's one less thing that we have to send up on a cargo rocket. Uh, Tesla gun, Holmium plate plus battery makes ammo, we can do that here. Where is the Tesla gun? Holmium cable, plastic, plate, and ion stream. I'm pretty sure we already have some ion stream 
somewhere in this base. Uh, is that it? Yes, indeed. There will be a new recipe that makes two per, and it takes less stuff. Oof, your FPS went down since last time I saw you stream a while ago. A lot of circuits, I think. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. It's been fluctuating a bit, but... Um... It could be a coincidence, but when I made more smelting rows, uh, more omni smelters, why is this one not working? Because the iron plate isn't. Yes, it is. Oh, the. Oh. The output is jammed. Are we missing an underground belt? We are. Okay, that's easy. Uh, where are our construction spider drones? Pretty close by, actually. Very close by. That's an easy fix. Uh, yeah, it could be a coincidence, but I thought I saw the UPS go down significantly from when I um, added some Omni smelters here. I might have to do some testing with that, and I don't know. It's not like you can change, it's not like with uh, AAI where you can change the tick rate of these combinators. You can check which part takes the most CPU with debug options, yeah. Um, let's see. Well, there's a lot of extra text up here. Circuit network is at 3.6. That's not that big. The electric network is actually more. Is it biters? Can we see that? What thing am I showing up here that's ob obscuring all that other information? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I don't really know. Oh, also we're down to 36 if I look at the entire map. But if we zoom in, back up to 45. Also, Vin Shady, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are we still loading this? Definitely. Uh, we need the media defense ammo. Cargo rocket sections. Oh, the stacked ones. Wait, do we have those in the network? I thought we did. Uh, yeah, here we are. That could be a bit faster. Hold on. What? Did I... Uh, is this what I think it is? We're packing the cargo rocket sections. And then unpacking them. <laughs> until the end of time. When and how and why did I do this? I... I don't understand. Um, and it doesn't seem like the bots are managing to take the packed cargo rocket sections. It makes me wonder how I managed to send them uh, on that other rocket to that other planet. Okay, let's just straight up remove this for now. 
uh, we've got our cargo rocket sections, and how do I set it up so that we keep a certain amount of packed cargo rocket sections and turn the rest back into regular ones, maybe? Hmm. Let's just put this here. Cargo rocket section packing. Back to cargo rocket section. Uh, it stacks to like five, doesn't it? Let's just bring all of them here. Limit to a hundred. And I would like to set it... Oh, I know. Maybe I had it, or meant to have it like this, and I didn't notice just a moment ago. But we'll set this to packed cargo rocket section greater than 100. Okay. Meanwhile, the rate of production of these things in the main bus base is looking a little bit sad. It doesn't stack at all. Uh, what do you mean by that? Oh, that's right. Yeah. So packed cargo rocket section takes up one stack, but you can turn them into five. Is that right? So that's a full chest. Which means uh, we would need at least a couple of chests. I guess we can do it like that. And that will unpack some excess ones. Okay. Where's my speedy spider? I'm gonna go steal some cargo rocket sections. Bring them straight back to the main bus base. Military spiders are all resupplied. I'm tempted to just take the military spiders I already have. Actually, I'll bring them over here and I'll make some copies of them. Or at least leave one behind, so I can copy that one over here. Actually, no, I can't do that. Something you can't do remotely, because you need to put the power armor equipment in directly. Oh, I need to fix this as well. Still haven't seen this one break since we made that change, so I think that is the solution. Let's try copying that to all of these. It's just copying the combinator settings and such. And if that is correct, then once I fix this one and this one, uh, we should see no more trains getting stuck like that. Getting a bit stuck here. There we go. And this one. Let's just double check the other ones haven't already got inserters sticking out. Nope. Looking good. 
I know that one's fine. Give to me the copper, please. And we should rebalance it as well. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if I'm right, that will be the end of the train getting stuck like that. Fantastic. Okay, are we getting any packed rocket parts sent over here now? Yes, we are. Good. And if I dump a bunch of cargo rocket sections into the network, they'll come to here, which means they'll get packed. Uh, but I should make the condition that there's at least a hundred available to pack them. Except to do that, we need more inventory space. Passive provider should do the job. Uh, can I move this? Yes. All right, so we can definitely fit more than a hundred in storage now. Uh, in that specific area for storage. Trunk is pretty empty. Oops. All right. Should have emptied my inventory a bit, but how many are we carrying? 10, 11, plus 58. It's a start. Oak Bottle, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I forgot I'm actually carrying uh, 36 more than that. in the trash slots. Uh. Uh-oh. Actually caught it in the act. Oh, I think I know why. Because I forgot to rebalance the copper. Um, that was actually what turned out to be almost definitely the reason why this was happening. Um, because these chests were imbalanced and this circuit sort of assumes that none of these inserters are going to run out of resource while they're doing their job so then we ended up with a weird balance a weird imbalance and a weird count I am very curious as to, now that I'm pretty sure I understand why that was breaking, I don't really understand why it was only breaking like 1% of the time. Um, that is a little bit surprising. I suppose I must have found a sweet spot for how much extra... Um, Like, we set the uh, provide threshold to well over one train load to help make sure that didn't happen, but then we didn't balance load this properly. And I think if we hadn't fixed this, but we set that provide threshold even higher, um, it would have been balanced enough to not do that. I could be wrong. I 
Okay. What else was I doing here? That's right. Uh, cargo rocket sections. We just brought a bunch back. Let the bots take them away. Or maybe it would be quicker if I dumped them in a purple chest. Actually, why don't I just put them directly in here? It might be easier. That's uh, the wrong place for them. Wait, what? There we go. That's already full. Inserter is bottleneck. And I guess I can shove them in here. Twelve of them, as a matter of fact. Okay, it seems like I can put an unlimited amount in this spot here. There we go. So what are we up to? Only two packed cargo rocket sections? How is that the case? Where are they going? Oh, this is not an unpacker. This right here doesn't do anything. So... Unpack... Serta... Condition is... Packed is greater than a hundred. And that should be fine. Actually, if anything, that should be like a purple, right? I don't think it really matters. Actually, no, it should be purple. Make sure there's a room. There we go, we've got seven packed ones all of a sudden. I can't believe it took that long to get more than two, but now it's seven already. All right, I think in the meantime, I'll remove the condition. I just want more packed cargo rocket sections. And that could definitely be faster. Since our target is just one space capsule. Definitely want to make sure that's always available. Although, I think the cargo trains are probably stealing them. Which I guess is okay. That means we don't have to wait for 40 of these to make a delivery. How many do we get out of... We're bottlenecking on rocket control units, so 1.6k rocket control units gives us exactly 16 space capsules. I think I'll change the uh, threshold here to 16. And that'll mean we'll get almost certainly have enough of every other resource, then the rocket 
uh, rocket control units arrive. We make 16 of these, and then a train comes to pick up 16 of them. Instead of waiting for like two and a half train loads. Let's see, I was going to make a military to take with me. Um, I don't think I need these, this many. Oh, I was going to make an umbrella. Umbrella. There it is. And get rid of those extra requests. If I can find them. And what was the other one? Concrete. Okay. Definitely don't need that all the time. don't need to be taking rail to these planets, even if it is a little bit of a nuisance to remove all of this, and then change it back later. Uh, I do need the umbrella, thank you very much. Let's just set that zero to infinite. How often am I going to be carrying one? How many spiders is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's a lot. And so is this. That's 20 spiders, and I need to carry a lot of what we're putting in them. Shields, lasers, batteries, and portable RTGs. I'll go collect them, because I know where they are and the bots are slow. Don't need any flying, uh, any roboports. Uh, turn off personal requests for now so I don't have to bother with them. I don't think the spiders carry any shield, uh, any legs, lasers. I think that's it. Let's copy your settings. As long as it says minus these things, I know that the power armor stuff has, has been put in. Otherwise it'll say missing. There it is. Adaptive armor. I think I just took all of the adaptive armor. I should probably have set the limit higher. How many adaptive armor per spider are we going for? Three. So 60 would make an army of 20. It's not taking too long to make more. Um, I somewhat take that back. Uh, 10 seconds each. I definitely take that back. Where am I going? And why is this RoboPod unpowered? Oh, I think I know. Because I moved that station with the substation. Okay, we 
we're still going to be bottlenecking on the actual resources. Um, I could bump these up a bit, but it's probably super duper overkill. Can we get one more of these? There we go. Bite of threat is supposed to be really low, so I might just take what I can equip, like right now, or until the rocket is loaded. Are there any other green ones that didn't get what they need? Nope. Oh, and they're all requesting a million rockets. Um, what's four times? 80 stacks. I don't think I can carry 80 stacks of rockets. Um... Because when I pick them up, it's going to take everything out of their inventory, but not the... Does this count as being in their inventory? Let's find out. I'm sure it's going to... Yeah, gave me all the rockets back. Well, I think as soon as I finish one, I should pick it up. Am I going to put that in the... Well, I guess I'll keep it in my inventory, actually. Ouch. That was a little bit alarming. Uh, what? There we go. Luckily it doesn't undo picking up the spider. Okay. They've got lasers, they've got shields, theoretically, this is 14 of them, theoretically I can get them to heal everything on the planet with that alone. I would prefer if I can have them take some rockets as well. Those will have to go in the cargo rocket if there's room. We're still waiting on the... on 84, jeez. 84 stacked cargo rocket sections. Um, this doesn't take from passive providers. I guess I should make this a storage chest. Wait, I can set a filter. I've never used this before. Finally found a use case. Cargo rocket sections only. What? No. No. Bad robots. Oh my goodness. By the time I place it, they're already filling. No. Okay, I'm going to copy-paste this, pick this up, and then move this over here. And hopefully the bots won't be able to stuff that up. Um, okay, do we have any more shields? Probably not very many. Zero more shields, actually. Because we're missing heat shielding for some reason. Why are we lacking... There's no heat shielding in the logistic storage. Okay, that needs to be remedied. Heat, shielding, what? Is 
Solve rocket fuel times one. Oh, this is not actually connected to the logistic network. I see. There should be a train coming with heat shielding pretty soon, unless we've actually run low on it. Nope, we're good. Uh, where's that station? So why are we not receiving heat shield? There it goes. Okay, cool. I think just one delivery will be enough. Also, why is there a purple chest here that's not been emptied? That's a little bit concerning. Is it all in the same network? Yes. Maybe 14 spiders is enough. Uh, okay. I think we'll reduce our request for packed cargo rocket sections down to 20 so we can get going sooner. That is five rocket launchers going back. Uh, we also need extra capsules. Like four more. And we don't even have those, do we? Because they keep getting taken because everything in the logistic network is fair game. I could probably steal a few from... Nope. Okay, I know where I can steal some from. I'm not going to orbit yet, so I'll put that away for now. There's our heat shielding, and there's our adaptive armor. Right, I'm gonna go steal some uh, capsules from our first... Oh, this one's actually full. Okay, it's still going to get a train coming to it because uh, there's nothing in the chest, but we can actually stop overfilling one of these soon. That's good. And this one finally broke. I'm a little bit surprised, but it actually makes more sense than it not breaking. Actually, yeah, yeah, this is the design that is incorrect. I'll fix that on the way back. Let's grab a few capsules. That's more than enough. And we need these inserters, like this, so that they actually do a proper balanced load. Remove the iron. Instead of patching all of the iron ones, um, I think I'll wait and see. We'll continue the experiment. Um, I'll confirm as much as I possibly can, that that is what was causing the problem. I think I did it on this side as well. Oh, and we should rebalance these. Considering how full this is, I wouldn't have expected that to happen here. 
Or maybe it got a lot more full since that happened. Actually. I have no doubt this is going to load properly the first time. And it's going to take a little while, so let's not hang around. Back to the main base. And we have a whopping four adaptive armors. Should probably bump up the number of these that are requested. Circuits as well. Steel, sure. There's too much for the logistic bots to do. They didn't even take any of my trash items earlier. fill you with rockets. I didn't realize how many armors and stuff I was already carrying, actually. That definitely helps. We just have one... Uh, one, two, three to go. Before we have... An army of 20 Spider-Trons. I'd rather take a little longer to prepare than half ass it and end up struggling on the planet. So we just need nine more adaptive armors and then a few for myself. Maybe. Oh, and also... We've run out of... Um, portable RTGs. Where are all those solar panels going? Is this why the bots are so busy? No, that's only part of it. I could just remove this temporarily. Okay. One, two, three. We need nine adaptive armor mark twos. And we're up to seven. Portable RTGs looking good. Uh, I'll just double check. It is actually two RTGs per spider. So we need six. I could take some from one of my, like from my power armor, for example. If we get desperate enough. Oops. What is this doing here? Do we have... Yeah, there they, there they are. Let's grab some LDS. Actually, this should probably stay perfectly balanced. Um, so in that case, grab LDS from somewhere else. 
like down here. Bring some heat shielding in when I do as well. Didn't mean to fly through the robo network. Luckily, I got past them. Our trash system has been consistently jammed for quite a while, mostly because there's no stone, I think. Might have to rethink that design somewhat. Uh, sure. I'll fill my trash slots with LDS, why not? And the heat shielding is going to go straight into uh, the adaptive armor, and so on. This requires 10 heat shielding, this requires an additional 20, and this doesn't need any. I think I just ran through that robo network again. That confirms that they're stealing the space capsules. Right, there's a bit of heat shielding. And blue circuits. How many have we got? Twelve. Fantastic. And what about uh, portable RTGs? I need six just to complete the spider army. And I've already got some in my robot bots, uh, in my armor and stuff. Fantastic. I think we're just about ready. How's the rocket looking? It's actually waiting on three packed cargo rocket sections still. Which means 15 of these. Which is a little slow. Did you get... No, you did not. Copy, paste. Copy, paste, paste. Fantastic. Nice. Wait, what? I thought I had... Oh, they're on the ground. Aw. Look at the cute little spider -tron. Um, And I actually... I actually... Blah, blah, blah. I actually accidentally... I can't pick it up. There, there we go. I accidentally made 21 of these. Which is fine, I suppose. Uh, I don't think we can fit enough rockets for all of them. Well, it's 21 times 4 stacks, isn't it? 84. It might not be that bad. We actually still have hundreds of stacks available here. So... Twenty-one times eight hundred. Sixteen thousand eight hundred rockets. Well, that'd be one full load for all of them. What about twenty thousand? Is a hundred stacks. We can ease. We could double it if we really want to. Although there's probably not that many rockets in storage right now. 10k. All right, fine. We'll take 10k. Rocket. 10,000. Next one spider. One SPM base, one Spidertron per minute. Seems good to me. 
Um, although we do need to consistently get fish for those. Oh no, not fish, it's biomass this time. So maybe we could fully automate it. Wasn't expecting that sound. Um, got the Spidertrons, got the Umbrella. And... I should check something. Um, we can actually make an artillery targeting remote and just use it like this, right? Using the navset? Yeah, so there's no reason for me to be carrying one around. Unless I want to be, like, running around and using it, which most of the time, no. Do I have a request for it? I do. Targeting remote. Zero. And... Still waiting on two packed. That means six more cargo rocket sections. We're about to get two more. We're almost there. Uh, unfortunately, the bots are not loading the rockets until that happens. So close. Anything else I should be preparing or taking? Um, oh, I should take an extra Spidertron remote. Even though... Uh, even though I could make one out of thin air with Navsat when I get there, I would like to... Set it up with muscle memory while I'm on the planet. And I definitely would have picked up a rocket control unit from the ground here if I'd realized how long it takes. Speaking of rocket control units, we're still very much bottlenecking on those to get our capsules. And as for these, it's blue circuits. As for blue circuits, it's green circuits now, and green circuits, no doubt. Since they're made of stone and copper, I think we can probably guess what that's bottlenecked on. It's actually... S huh? Wait, what? What? Huh? 230k. 230k. What's going on here? No. Is that not connected? I copy-pasted this from... Oh, it's got a green wire there. So it should have worked anyway. Uh, I mean, this one works. What? 230k. 230k. Alright, why are we missing green circuits? Um, I think it was just this one, actually. Something strange has happened with this unloader. Oh, I see, it's actually red circuits. There's no red circuits here. Um because we're missing copper cable, copper plate up here that gets made into copper cable. Uh, this thing has a big combinatorless balanced unloader. It's waiting for this green circuit to move on before all of these get dumped. There's a couple of red circuits left here, but nothing really. 
um, in the grand scheme of things. And the red circuit belt here is empty. These have stopped because there's no red circuits. Okay, so ultimately it is copper still. Um, Alright, we've got our remote. And... Bots have still not picked this stuff up. That was weird, it looked like it lagged. No, there was just more than a hundred, right? Okay. Uh... see what's in our rocket. We're still waiting on that one packed cargo rocket section before this whole thing, before the bots start loading rockets and so on. And this is going to be it. I think I'll just grab it before the bots do. Wait, what? Oh, a different inserter took it. Fanta that was so fast. Uh, does that mean the last one is on the way? No. Is there somewhere? Is there somewhere else our packed cargo rocket sections are going? Packing cargo rocket section. Okay, let's see what happens here. Okay, so that goes to storage, that goes here, that goes here. And then... Okay, packed cargo rocket. I think I was just looking at the wrong thing, maybe. Yeah. I think we can... Hold on. I was going to say I think we can probably tell where that's going, but actually, no. Do not lose sight of him. Uh huh. That's a lot of packed cargo rocket sections pointed at Marielle, which I forgot that I had this set up for. Um. Y yeah. I guess we could just leave that as it is. This is about to be... I'll, I'll go steal one. We may as well keep them there. Well, that explains where all of those were going. That's the wrong one. Wait, what? Am I looking at the wrong... Yes. Okay. Give one of these to me, please. And we can move on, finally, to some rocket fuel. And... Then some ammo and media defense installations. We're getting a lot of bots falling out of the sky right now. Goes. Why do we have another million Vulcanite blocks being moved around? Whoa, look at those rockets go. 
That looks amazing. It's like a spray pattern from a bullet hell game or something. Rip bot. I'm glad that these rockets just happen to be really close to the cargo rocket silo. Uh, let's give him a hand, shall we? Don't take them off me. How many is this? Oh, it's almost done. How many do we have left? Uh, let's see. I can't see how many rockets we have now. If I make a request for them... Uh, we've got like 500 in storage. That just leaves one more media defense installation, some ammo, and we're good. The rocket's still only two-thirds full, so is there anything else we want to take? Let's double check what's in this blueprint. Um, check, check, check. Wait, am I carrying medium poles still? Yep. Okay. Check, 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 check. A little bit of blue belt. Stuff that I carry by default, or stuff... Oh, we need a recycling facility. I think I can always hand make, like, three of those. Five of them, actually. Okay, that's fine. And we already loaded all of the nuclear stuff. Landfill. That's what we need. Oh, that looks cool. Uh, we have almost 200 stacks available. We need 6.5k times 2, divided by 100, 130 stacks, that'll do. Let's go for 13,000. And here it comes. Kind of weird how they come in waves. Um, so there's going to be a bit of room left over after that still. I don't think there's anything else we particularly have to worry about. Carrying belt, yes. I guess we don't need the Nalvis military spiders hanging around for now. Let's tidy this up a bit. Lots of little bases everywhere. I think these are all expansions.
pretty easy to deal with compared to a proper base. I would have expected that expansions would eventually be big, but I guess not. Alright, that's a good start, I think. I'll bring them back to this base so that they can get their rockets back faster. Landfill is going to take a while. If I pick some up manually, it'll help. Really liking the increased bot speed, even though it's not everything just yet. Expansions typically aren't big in vanilla either. Yeah, I suppose so. It's not like we're using Rampant or something. I don't know, I think I would have expected them to grow or something if left for long enough. That looks kind of neat. Alright, I'll leave them to it. We've got only 1k left. Oh, that is... That is happening quickly. Fantastic. Which planet are we aiming at? Lothar. Zug Zug. General vicinity, because we do not have a landing pad there yet. Uh, maybe I should make at least one Spidertron that I'm taking there, a construction Spidertron. And I'll copy the uh, yellow design. Where are my construction spiders? Oh, all the way down here. That makes sense. Okay, so before the bots come, there we go. Smart, yes indeed. That's everything. And all that's left is to wonder what I'm forgetting after spending... Quite a while trying to think of everything. All right. I think we're just about ready though. Um, if we have forgotten anything, we can always send another rocket. There aren't planets with no atmosphere, are there? Volcanic, ocean, saturated, treeless, unusual, flat. Well, we've got some life support, even if that's the case. So without further ado... Launch is disabled. Uh... Why... What? Why... Why is launch disabled? Cargo rocket section, space capsule, fuel, launch trigger, none, manual, Lotha, general visit. Oh, it was just like a UI glitch. Or maybe it didn't think it was on general vicinity. And away we go. Feels like it's really struggling to get that initial acceleration. Oop. UI glitch a little bit. Well, not UI, but... That's what I'm looking for. 
Uh, turn off Roboport. Spooters. Uh, let's make you the leader. And... Get started. I'm going to remove that for now. And my muscle memory is going to be the local spiders. Where is that remote? I need to make another slot for it. There we go. Wait, which one's which? Ah, uh, they're both... Okay, I'm going to change your color. Cyan. There we go. Okay. You follow that. You follow that. You follow that. And so on. Definitely helps to have the spiders moving to the south as they each take turns following the leader. Bigger target to clip on. I think that's all of them. Uh, and we should start scanning Lothar. Scan surface. Let's get... I did bring solar panels, didn't I? Yeah. How could I forget solar panels? Let's turn my RoboPort on for a sec. Okay, that's a little bit unhelpful. Oh, what an interesting shape. Uh, don't tell me after all that we're on an island. Well, luckily the spiders haven't been given rockets yet, so I could pick them all up. Hey. Um, let's head over this way. I don't have any rockets for now, but with the 3% threat, I imagine that probably the biters that we do find we can handle with just lasers, but we've got the rockets if that's not true. Alright, let's put down some storage. And give the bots to the network. And away they go. I haven't seen any biters yet, unless they're craftily hidden amongst all this red. Uh, I hope the spiders will be able to leave what looks like an island here. I don't think they're going to be able to cross this part, but we can use a little bit of landfill if it comes to that. I'm sure they can't reach that far, yeah. This is improbable, but maybe. I think it's about two tiles too long. Hmm. 
might be a bridge here, actually. Still haven't seen any biters. It is a relatively big planet, right? Uh, about... It's a bit smaller than Nervous, which is not to say small. Yeah, we're just barely probably going to need some land. Oh, they can get across here, I think. Well, uh, since there's no biter medias, if there's no biters on this island, and there's more than enough space here to make our base, um, I think that is, we didn't actually need any defenses. Well, not that we shouldn't have been prepared, but it turns out we don't need any defenses whatsoever for this place. Let's bring you across here, and hopefully you can reach that. Can biters spawn there? Uh, it doesn't seem so. The way biters spawn and expand, um, they do actually have to make, like, a party of biters to physically travel somewhere else. Uh, oh, there's our structure. I wonder if that's, like, the 3% threat that was being referred to. I should definitely be putting some shields on. And some lasers. And lots of shields. And definitely not save scumming. So, when it says 3% threat, is that just a lie, or is it because there's biters inside here only? I don't suppose I can bring the spiders in here. 3% threat shouldn't factor in structures. Oh yeah, no, I'm sure this is going to be really dangerous, just like the last one. That's why I'm putting on 8 shields and 8 lasers before I... Uh, poke my head in. Alright, this doesn't look too bad. Especially if I can get ahead of it. Make sure I get the spawners. That was a lot easier than last time. I guess it was because I was prepared... and ready to assume that I would be covered in biters the moment I came in here. Is that what I think it is? Productivity 9. Nice. Or rather, the structures aren't the 3% threat. Okay. So... What should we put our Productivity 9 in? Since we have just one of them. I guess the safest place on the planet is now inside here, right? Except I can't direct the spiders from there. They still can't get over that. That feels deliberate. Although I'm sure it's not. Alright, let's put a little bit of landfill over here. Technically the island is 100% safe, at least from biters. Yeah, it is. Oh, I don't have my robopot. Luckily I can just... There we go. 
What a beautiful sight. I guess I should just wait for the scanner to find some biters. It's not like the spiders can keep up with it. On the other hand, they'll probably be found in all directions anyway. I could use the construction spider for automatic movement for myself. Oh, that's erudite. Like so. And where should we put our little bridge over here? Probably where it takes the least amount of stuff added. Oh, I was muted, wasn't I? Whoops. I'm starting to think there's going to be, like, one biter nest on this entire planet. Just got to get it so it doesn't cause an expansion. Or I could just turn off the scanning, and this should actually be totally safe. That might be the way to go about it. But I kind of want to see the whole planet. Uranium fever. Ooh, 2.1 million. I need the sulfur, though. Um, let's put this over here. Spooter can definitely get across that. From mere fact that you can find productivity module in strange structure with biters inside, it's possible to pointlessly speculate on possible in-game mod lore, like some people do on those Warhammer lore vids. Sure. I mean, I don't know how much world building you could really do with a Factorio mod, but I'm sure there's someone out there if you would look at the medium and say challenge accepted. Right, so they can get on both con uh, both continents now. But the biters can't. And I'll bring this back to base. It's getting to the point where I might just not worry about moving the military spiders around unless and until we see biters. Why don't I just move this all the way over here and see what happens. I don't think they're going to run into anything that uh, 
60 lasers and 60 shields can't handle. So that just leaves the question of where to build our base. Oh, I just realized. Um, we're going to be having sulfuric acid barrels sent back to us. Uh, with the blueprint that we're going to use already. Which means it makes it a lot easier to... Uh, to mine the uranium here. So we'll set things up so that eventually we'll be running off of the uranium that's sent back to this planet by cannon so that it'll be fully automated and go on forever. But for now, we'll take 2.2 million uranium and run off of that as a priority. If I'm going to build that far from our storage, it might become a bit of a nuisance. We'll see. I kind of want to move this spider away so it doesn't build something before I'm sure that that's what I want. So let's see. Here's our base. Um... I want to make sure I leave room for like nine, if not more, core mining drills in the direction to the south if I don't rotate it. Um, might make it a bit harder to look at if I rotate it another way. Uh, I think this will be fine. Okay, so we'll bring it down here. Make sure it's not on top of any uranium or anything. All mining drills can go up to the north as far as we like. And I think that'll do. That means we can build our nuclear plant or two right about here. If I'm going to build two nuclear plants, I probably should have built, uh, brought more core mining drills. But it's fine. Uh, let's make sure the roboports are going to be able to... I should do this to the south. I might have to add another roboport anyway, actually. E yeah, definitely going to have to add one. So why don't we just put this about here? Make absolutely sure of where we want to put it. Actually, make it... Well, the biters are never getting here, so... Let's just do this. Spider should be able to cross that quite easily. And I think it's time I turn my roboports on. Uh, probably should drop the logistic bots that I brought. And I think they're going to run out of energy. I should have gone closer. I might want 
to move all that stuff. Hopefully not. M muscle memory was telling me to press 3 there. I probably should. Well, you know what? I can always change this back. Um, let's bind this one to our construction spider. Now come and pick me up, please. This is kind of a weird planet. I think it said something to that effect somewhere. Unusual. Fair enough. So... Am I not... Oh, I got rid of all my bots, that's why. Place these ones manually. And don't forget the prods. Where applicable. Three prods and one speed, is it? And this one is just speed. Uh, recycling, we're gonna handcraft. Oh, I didn't turn my robopod on. That would probably help. Although... My bots don't seem to be placing the fast inserters that I... I got rid of my bots, I keep forgetting. And you don't have any bots either, do you? They're all over here. Alright, we'll leave them there until they've finished tidying all of this up. Although, they're very much bottlenecking on recharging here. Especially because we have no power left. Uh, so I should probably steal some back anyway. Not to mention, put some more solar down. Am I still going to lay this out this way? I think so. Not if we add more... How many core mining drills did I bring? I think it was nine. That's seven. If there's seven, then I definitely brought nine, because it's uh, one squared, two squared, three squared, four squared. Yeah, there it is. In order to offset the diminishing returns. And chest goes here, and wasn't there another? Oh, there it is. Kind of hard to see behind this thing. All right. Well, I think that is just about going to wrap it up for today. Let's have a quick look around and see who's streaming Factorio. That is not a sound I was expecting to hear. Indeed. UPS go brr while I load my browser with 1600 tabs. Even though it's supposed to be good at putting them to sleep. We got Mucky, Duckling. All right, thanks, guys. Uh, let's drop in on Mucky today, I think. It's been a little while. Thank you all for watching. Do take... Oh, I hope the raid works today. Uh, I'm seriously considering trying to learn a new system t for streaming because this keeps breaking. It seems like it's working.
Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have any questions or anything, by all means, let me know. And uh, let's drop in on Mucky. Take care, guys. See you, Veldek. T-Hacks, thank you for the raid of 47 people, eh? That's much appreciated, man.